What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Today is Monday. Monday, Monday. Hopefully, everybody had a good weekend. You guys already know what the deal is. We're going to be doing in collects questions today. Uh, your boy's a little tired. He's a little sleepy. His allergies are getting a little bit better, though. You guys see? You know what I'm saying? Right? So, uh, hopefully, everybody had a good weekend. Hey, if you guys are new here, welcome. We are going to be doing NCLEX questions. Oh, hey, what were those? Oh, I got tickets. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, so we're going to be doing NCLEX questions, y'all. All right. You already know the deal. I need y'all to smash that like button. I need for y'all to share. I need for y'all to follow. Uh, don't be greedy. You know what I'm saying? I'm never greedy to y'all because I'll be giving y'all all this game. So give me what I want. Like, shares, and follows, baby. Uh, Y'all already know I want I want 100 folks up in here. Miss Ma'am from Montego Bay. Always here. Always present. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, y'all come in here. Y'all already know. I'm starting to... I start to... Hey, I remember. I see Rach up in there. Somebody says, Sassy Cassie. I passed my complex. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, Miss Ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, everybody. Hey, look. I know it's finals week. Hey, I want everybody to come up here. Hey, from Fountain Valley. Hey, I went to school there, man. Well, I went to a Coastline Community College. I know that 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 school is there. So shout out to you. Uh, who is that? Matt. Matt Dreary. Uh, I graduate next week. So this is perfect timing. Hey, is it Angelique? Hey, I'm glad that you're here. Hey, so we're going to do NCLEX questions. You guys know I need at least 100 people up in here. I need 100 people. So you better share it to your friends, your 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 Mima. I don't care what Mima got going on. Share to Mima. Let Mima just sit over there and do her thing. You know what I'm saying? Share it to whoever. All right. And if you're in school right now, I don't care if you're graduating, share it to somebody in your cohort. Don't be greedy. Everybody wants to try to gatekeep shit. And it's wild. It's weird to me. It's weird to me. Don't gatekeep. All right. So like, share, follow. How was you guys this weekend? What's up, Paul? My man. Hey, Paul, you get to see how you get to see how the uh, how the live is about to go. So I know Al, be, Al and, and James will tell you. It's about to be on and popping. All right. So waiting for get 40 people up in here. Hey, we're going to go over some NCLEX questions. You guys know we do these every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 530. I was doing them every day, but, uh, you know, no one wants to sit over here and study every day. And plus, you know, it's the holidays. I got some. Hey, I got some surprises coming up for y'all this weekend. I got some like on Friday. You guys stay tuned. I got a surprise for y'all coming this weekend. All right. On Friday. So y'all better make sure that y'all are here when we got stuff on and popping. OK, so I want to know who you are, where you're from, where you're at in your nursing journey. And if you're not a nurse or on that journey to become a nurse, what are you doing here and what is your profession? What makes you want to come over here? Listen to me, run my mouth about nursing style type of questions for nurses that are trying to, you know, get that license so they can go out there and be the best that they could be, you know, out there taking care of patients or, you know, doing something extra. What are we thinking? What are y'all thinking? Hey. You already know, 100 folks. The moment I get 100 people over here, I can turn this camera around. So share, 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 like, 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 follow, follow, follow. So what y'all got going on? Hey, make sure, hey, participation is the key too, y'all. Participation is the key. The more that y'all participate and y'all give to me, I'm going to give it to you. You know what I mean? Hey, don't come into my chat. Don't, don't, be, don't be over here trolling because the moment that you troll, I'm going to ban that ass. I promise you. And I mean it. Y'all can ask. Ask, ask if I ban you or not. All right. Hey, there we go. We got enough folks up in here. Look at me all in red, you know, looking all spiffy and shit. It says, how do you deal with professors that don't want to do good in nursing school? Hey, I'm going to do an ask me anything after this. So, uh, Gabby, ask me that question at the end, okay? And then uh, hopefully I'll remember and I'll give you an answer. But I'll give you an answer to that. All right, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, we're doing NCLEX questions. We do them every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sorry if this color saturation is too bright, but not my fault. All right. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Oh, I lied. I lied. Here we go. Hey, there we go. Question number one. The nurse is providing discharge teaching for a client with leukemia. The client should be told to avoid what? Is it A, using oil or cream-based soaps, flossing between the teeth, the intake of salt, or using an electric razor? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? By the way, I got these questions off nurseslabs.com. Nurseslabs.com. Free sets of questions, all right? Free sets of questions. And they also have care plans and, all, and nursing diagnosis and all that good stuff. Make sure you guys go over there and check that out, okay? Hey, we're on the road to 10,000 likes. I need for y'all to smash that like button. Get Carpal Tunnel for me, all right? Get it. Make it happen. Make it happen. All right, we got Ds. We got Bs, okay? Okay. Desiree says B. All right, Joy says B. Denicia says, I remember that name. I remember because I was having a hard time. I had having a hard time pronouncing it. <laughs> Hannah says B. Light work. Says B. All right. Natalie says B. Hello again to you, ma'am. All right, y'all. Hey, by the way, I'm going to put y'all on a timer because y'all take too long. You know, I got to keep, I got to hold y'all accountable. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Here's our answer. Here's our answer in three, two. And the answer is B. 
flossing between the teeth. A client who is immunosuppressed and has bone marrow suppression should be taught not to floss with, uh, because his teeth and platelets are uh, decreased. That is health promotions and maintenance, which is 9 to 15% on the NCLEX exam. And yes, we want to think about bleeding precautions, right? We want to think about bleeding precautions because they are immunosuppressed and they have a, a, a clotting issue, right? Their, their platelets are decreased, all right? It says, I want to, I want them to use, yeah, you want them to use an electric razor. You don't want them to use a straight razor, okay? All right, here we go. Here we go. Question number two. The nurse is changing the ties of the client with a tracheostomy. The safest method to change the tracheostomy ties is to what? Is it to apply a new tie before removing the old one? Have a helper present? Hold the tracheostomy with the non-dominant hand while removing the old tie or ask the doctor to suture the tracheostomy in place. Is it Nessa or Nisa says, hey, okay, shout out to y'all. Hey, if you guys are new here, welcome. We are doing NCLEX questions. My name is Kevin. Um... And yeah, we're doing in-class questions. Got them off nurseslabs.com. These are free sets of questions. Hey, I know y'all are on the road to graduation because I know people are graduating this this weekend or uh, uh, this Friday. So shout out to everybody that made it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and if you're graduating, congratulations to you. Hey, and if it's the end of the semester, hey, congratulations to you. You made it one step closer. All right. You're here new and I love this. Liz, hey, this is what we do. Tess says this Friday. Yes. Yes, girl. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I started. I'm starting in January. Joy, hey, we'll get this knowledge in now. Hey, also get that time management. All right, get that time management. So I'm getting carpal tunnel for liking. Hey, get, keep getting carpal tunnel for me, y'all. Hey, make sure. Hey, we're on the road to 10,000 likes. I need for you guys to smash that like button. Don't be selfish. Give it to me. Give it to me. And the answer is a. Apply the new tie before removing the old one. Leaving the old tie in place while securing the clean tie prevents inadvertent dislodging of the tracheostomy tube. That is a reduction of risk potential. Also 9 to 15% on the NCLEX, right? Because remember, the tracheostomy is an airway issue. I don't want to take it out and then all of a sudden put it in. I want to make sure I have everything right where it needs to be. That way that I don't, that my patient doesn't have an airway issue. All right. So that way we don't create any type of issues down the line. All right. So shout out to all y'all. Here we go. Next week is my last week of my LVN program. Shout out to you, Miss Jessica. Jess the mess. I don't even know you. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I if I called you that, here we go. Question number three. The nurse is monitoring a client following a lung resection. The hourly output from the chest tube is 300 mLs. The nurse should give priority to what? All right, so what is the very first thing that I need to do as a nurse? Turning the patient to the left side, milking the tube to ensure patency, slowing the uh, uh, IV infusion, or notifying the physician. What are we thinking? Ha ha, uh, I am a mess being a finals week, so pretty accurate. I got you, girl. I got you. I got you. Everybody's screaming D. Hey, even if you guys want to tell me why, tell me why. It says, fail, hold on, it says failing my program and going somewhere else. Why you fail, Mr. It? You're failing your program and you're going into another program? Hey, that's what I, hey, we don't quit around here. So look, if the program ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing, and if you can get into another one so you can still achieve that goal, please, by all means, go do it. All right, y'all, 10 seconds. Output is too high. Okay, farm. Miss Sandy, ma'am, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while, Sandy. Where you been at? Why you been hiding from me? That's too much an hour. Okay. Too much an hour. Okay. Never milk. Right. There you go. And here's why I ask. Here's why I want you guys to give me more of an answer besides, you know, the letter is because if you're able to spit it out by the, when you read this question, you'll be able to spit the answer out automatically. Okay. So if you think about it, especially if you've been studying content, you'll be like, Oh, I already know it. And then when the answer pops out to you, when you read your answer choices, you already know it's right there and you'll be able to answer, you know, essentially swiftly, you give yourself at least 90 seconds to read that question, answer it. You'll be well under that. All right. And yes, the answer is D notifying the physician. The output of 300 mLs is indicative of hemorrhage right? And should be reported immediately. That is reduction of risk potential. Remember, you need three things, content, Q&A with rationales. You need all three of them. There are no tricks to studying for NCLEX. It's called putting in the damn work and not being fucking lazy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you find a, hey, if you find a value in this, go ahead and smash that like button because y'all love me. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Question number four. The infant is admitted to the unit with tetralogy of fallow, right? The nurse would anticipate an order for which medication? Okay, is it Dig or Digoxin, Epinephrine? Uh, uh, was it a? Uh, oh my God, Am Amiophilin, uh, Amiophilin. Oh my God, or Atropine? What are we thinking? We got Dig. Period, sir, ma'am. That's how I do. That's how I do. Hey, by the way, uh, I will mispronounce words on accident uh, and on purpose. 
Uh, and if you really, really care that I that I pronounce stuff wrong, um, I, I don't care. OK, there's that. So I'm just going to let y'all know. So let you know, you said no. Sassy Cassie says, I have no idea. So, hey, so you're just going to follow the crowd, Cassie. That's what we do. All right. That's fine. Herd mentality. I got you. I got you. 15 seconds, y'all. 15 seconds. Hey, if you guys are new here, welcome. We're doing NCLEX questions. We do these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 530. Also got these questions off nurseslabs.com. And if you are new here, I want to know who you are, where you're from, where you were at in your nursing journey. And if you're not a nurse, if you're not a nurse at all, who, like, what do you do? What's your profession and what brings you here listening to us, you know, go through our stuff? As he says, been studying farm like crazy. I know that's right. Uh, AMF. Hey, I, pre- I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I did not do good with peds. Hey, so here's the thing. If you're a, if you are deficit in an area and if you don't do well, my man, Davey, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, I was actually talking to somebody about you today. Hey, so I'm just letting you guys know if you are having a hard time in a specific area after you graduate, that better be the first area that you study when you start studying for NCLEX. Because I'm telling you right now, it's like the exam knows, hey, you don't like peds? <laughs> Here you go. All peds. And then you will be real surprised on why you don't do so well on that exam. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm telling you right now is that that is the area that you better start with first is the one that you have the most difficulty with. All right. And of course, it is digoxin. An infant with tetralogy of Fallot uh, involves four Heart defects, a large ventricular septal defect, pulmonary stenosis, right ventricular hypertrophy, and overriding aorta. He will be treated with DIGH to slow and strengthen the heart. That is part of pharmacological and parenteral therapies, which is what? The second largest section on the NCLEX exam at what? 14 to 18%. Stop playing games with me. It's part of the big three. It's part of the big three. Hey, by the way, if you start at, hey, if you guys are asking questions down in the chat, you guys help each other out and answer them, okay? Uh, sometimes I can't answer them, and sometimes I don't, you know. Oh, we're, we're on a time limit right here. Somebody's asking them what tetralogy of Fallot is. Y'all, y'all let y'all let Miss Ma'am, is it Amber? Y'all let her know what's up. The big three. What are the big three on the NCLEX? Management of care, pharmacological and paratrial therapies, and physiological adaptation make up 44 to 49% of the entire exam, okay? Question number five. The nurse is educating the ladies club in a self-breast exam. The nurse is aware that the most malignant breast mass occurs in the tail of sequence. So uh, uh, on the diagram below, select where the tail of sequence is. So is A, B, C, or D? The outer left quadrant. Okay. All right. A. A. What else? What else? Ray. Is it Ray Simone? Like Raven Simone? Okay. I got you. I got you. Everybody's screaming. Hey, shout out to all 300 plus of y'all up in here rocking with me. We're doing NCLEX questions. Got them off nurseslabs.com. Hey, I want to know who you are, where you're from, where you're at in your nursing journey. Hey, and everybody needs to be smashing that like button. Smashing Raven Simone. Oh, snap. Oh, so did she steal your name uh, or did you steal hers? I don't know how it works. I don't know how that works. Miss Miss Raven Simone. Uh, yeah. Also, also get carpal tunnel for me. Make it happen. My head hurts. Trust me. My head hurts, too. I got you. I got a massive headache right now, but I'm here for y'all. I'm here for y'all. Here we go. In three, two. And the answer is A. The tail sequence is located in the upper outer quadrant of the breast. That is health promotion and maintenance. Smaller section on the NCLEX, 9 to 15 percent, but still very important. All right. Even though those other three sections make up half of the exam, huh, those other what? Five sections make up the other half of the exam. All right. So you got to be very aware of what you're what you're reading and understanding that hey, you need content, you need questions and you need answers. Hey, by the way, y'all, I have free test taking strategies. You guys can go over there and check them out. The website is right there, thebootnurse.com slash test. And it's uh, my testing tips to conquer the NCLEX. It's a free download. You guys can go over there and check that out. And uh, it's y'all's. I'll give y'all about 10 seconds. You know what I'm saying? I'll give y'all about 10 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go over there. Y'all go grab that. Hey, y'all see. Hey, check out my man's fanny pack. You see what I'm saying? Look at my man's fanny pack. Stop playing games with me. Hey, by the way, when you guys start working, get you a fanny pack. I don't care what. Hey, if somebody told me, hey, you can't go back to the hood. What the fuck do I look like going back to the hood with a fanny pack? We ain't going back there. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, get you a fanny pack. You stop playing games with me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. (laughs) The finger. Hey, Sandy, you let them know about the finger. All right. Question number six: The toddler is admitted with a cardia uh, with a cardiac anomaly. The nurse is aware that the infant with a ventricular septal defect will what tire easily, grow normally, need more calories, or be more susceptible to viral infections. What are we thinking? Shout out to all three hundred plus of y'all. Hey, every time I do a commercial break, every time people leave, they're just like, I don't give a fuck what Kevin talking about. Give me the questions. Hey, bro, I got you. I'm a case manager and I don't remember anything. Hey, Jasmine, Miss Miss Jazzy J. You good out there. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. I don't remember all these either. This is why Hey, this is why you always learn. We're always learning. I learn by teaching and I forget. 
And I'm going to tell you, hey, I don't know everything. If you have somebody that comes to you and tells you they know everything, they a liar. This is why most nurse educators, they piss me off. So like, be honest, bro. If you don't fucking know, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but we don't know. Let's go find out together. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Here's our answer. Here is our answer. We got A's and we got some D's. Okay, here we go. And the answer is, it is A, tire easily. The toddler with ventricular septal defect will tire easily. The hole, which is the defect, occurs in the wall, which is the septum, that separates the heart's lower chambers, which are the ventricles, and allows blood to pass from the left to the right side of the heart. The oxygen-rich blood then gets pumped back to the lungs instead uh, out to the body, causing the heart to work harder. Okay. Hey, remember when you guys are studying these, you guys need questions. You need answers. You need rationales. NCLEX questions are more hard. They are hard. NCLEX questions. No, 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 no. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. NCLEX questions are hard. The thing about it, that's right. But that's why you study. And I can tell you right now, there's a lot of study material that is out there. They're a lot harder than the NCLEX. The NCLEX is very straightforward. The NCLEX is very, very straightforward. When you start studying like U World, Archer, Kaplan, all those other things, those those things are a lot harder. Trust and believe me. I've I've been I've used all of them. I've used all of them. And let me tell you, those questions are a lot are 10 times harder, in my opinion, than they than the actual NCLEX was, right? And here we go. Question number seven. The nurse is monitoring a client with a history of stillborn infants. All right, so paint the picture. Where are we at? What part of nursing are we at, right? The nurse is aware that a non-stress test can be ordered for this client to what? Determine lung maturity, measure the fetal activity, uh, show the effect of contractions on fetal heart rate, or measure the uh, the well-being of the fetus. What are we thinking? It says, do you think the NCLEX is easier now with the case studies? I do, but I'm saying that as somebody who's been a nurse for three and a half years, who's worked in critical care, who's worked in surgicals. And who's failed the NCLEX three times. By the way, if y'all didn't know that, I failed the NCLEX three times. One, two, three. I failed it three times, y'all. Three times. And let me tell you something right now. No job will ever care. No job ever cares. So I need for all of y'all to get out of your own head. All of you to get out of your own head and get out of your way. You see what I'm saying? No one cares. If you study right, if you study right, and if you study effectively, you're going to conquer it. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. If you fail your NCLEX, it's not the end of the world. I failed mine three times and look at me over here. Y'all would have never known that unless I told you. You know what I mean? So here we go, y'all. Here we go. Here's our answer. It said, I love the case studies. The other tests were way too vague. They were. Is Kaplan the best? I can't say Kaplan is the best. However, Kaplan has been around since like the 70s and it works. Just like Hearst works. Remar works. U World works for specific people, but it has to be it has to work specifically for you. I can't come on here and be like, hey, you need to do this because I've had people do that to me and I've used them and they didn't work for me. They just didn't work. Uh, here we go. And the answer is B. Measure the fetal activity. A non-stress test determines periodic movement of the fetus. Reduction of risk potential. All right. Osmosis is a good one. Osmosis. Uh, I know they have a good. Uh, um, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, a YouTube channel. They have a good YouTube channel. All right. So reduction of risk potential. All right. Make sure you guys pay attention to those. Here we go. Question number eight. The nurse is evaluating evaluating the client who was admitted eight hours ago for induction of labor. The following graph is noted on the monitor. Which action should be taken first by the nurse? Right. So now we're looking at what fetal heart tones, fetal heart rate. Right. So do I want to instruct the client to push and uh, perform a vaginal exam, turn off the Pitocin or place the client in a semi fowler's position? What are we thinking? Do you think the HESI is harder? Yes, I do. Uh, I passed that, but I'm so nervous about the NCLEX. I took the HESI. My school had HESI, and uh, I actually hated HESI because I'm, I hated HESI more because our school didn't like really help us to try or try to guide us on how to use it. They were like, hey, just take it. So veal chop. OK, let them know, Nick. Let them know about veal chop. Shout out to everybody that's in here rocking with us. We're doing NCLEX questions. We're, this one is specifically in labor and delivery or maternity, right? Mother, baby type. I have no idea. Because I have no idea. We don't. Uh, we never learn about these charts. Hey, guess what? This is what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you exactly like your schools tell you. Hey, you're a self learner. Probably the dumbest shit I've ever heard somebody tell me when I spend thousands of dollars to go to that school. But here, hey, if you know that you have never looked at fetal heart tones or our heart our heart monitor and what it looks like, my recommendation would be that you go and you look at some. All right. It looks like these. It looks like late D cells. Okay. Uh, seven hundred on. Okay. All right for Hesse. Yep. Yeah. All right, y'all, here we go. Here we go. Here's our answer. Here is our answer in three, two. Hey, and by the way, this was one of the hardest sections for me because I didn't understand it either. 
All right, and the answer is C, turn off the Pitocin infusion. The monitor, right, indicates variable decelerations caused by cord compression. If Pitocin is infusing, the nurse should stop the Pitocin. Once again, this is part of health promotions and maintenance. Smaller section on the NCLEX, five to five, uh, I'm sorry, uh, nine to 15%, all right? Nine to 15%. By the way, when you guys are answering questions, apply what you know versus trying to apply what you don't know, right? Uh, if you know that, hey, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, you do the process of elimination. That's what that means. And then you let's just say you have two left. And let's just say you really, really don't know. Uh, you have a 50% chance of guessing it correct. Also with a 50% chance of getting it wrong. However, at least it's you have a higher chance of getting it right versus if you don't answer it at all. OK, so here we go. It says you're awesome for doing this. Look, miss, is it is it is it kiss me? Well, <laughs> ma'am, I do this here for Monday, Wednesday and Friday, you know, at 530. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. Question number nine. The nurse notes that the following is on the ECG monitor. The nurse uh, would evaluate the cardiac arrhythmia as what? A flutter, a sinus rhythm, ventricular tachycardia or atrial fibrillation. Everybody screaming C. OK. OK, what else? What else we got? Everybody got to see. Hey, if you guys are new here, welcome. We are doing NCLEX questions. I got them off nurseslabs.com. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys share. Make sure you guys follow. Hey, we need 10,000 likes, y'all. Hey, 10,000 likes. Essentially, it's like we need we need, uh, you know, we need like a thousand likes per question. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Who said polymorphic ta tachycardia? Hey, look. The, hey, I'm telling you right now on NCLEX, if they ask you about polymorphic anything, that means that they're asking you a hard question, all right? The goal on NCLEX is to get to the hard question. That is the goal. A is sawtooth. Mm, is it? Is it? All right. <clears throat> hey, everybody saying C. Okay. This live couldn't have come at a better time. Look, hey, if this live didn't come at a better time, hey, stop playing games with me. Y'all need to start following. Y'all got to start sharing. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I guarantee it. You're just like, uh, what am I going to do about this NCLEX? Hey, y'all, we doing NCLEX questions. You'll be like, oh, my God, Kevin, I love you so much. All right. And the answer is C, ventricular tachycardia. The graph indicates VTAC, right? So as a reduction of risk potential, okay? Remember, when you're dealing with anything that's atrial, it affects the P wave. So we're looking at atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation. We are looking at a, it's going to be a P wave issue, right? But you'll still have a QRS complex. When you're thinking about ventricular issues, that in, that by all means affects the QRS complex, okay? And this is a code, right? You can have what we call a, vin, a, 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 a pulseless v, ventricular tachycardia, and nine times out of 10, somebody who has VTAC will end up in V-fib, right? And remember, with V-fib, we do what? What do we do, when we, what do we do when we have V-fib? Who can say it? Who can say it right now? With V-fib, we shock, uh, okay, yeah, with shock, but deep, yes, there it is. With V-fib, you defib. There you go. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know, stop playing games with me. Here we go. Question number 10. A client with clotting disorder has been ordered to continue Lovenox, which is an oxaparin injection, after discharge. The nurse should treat the client. I'm sorry. The nurse should teach the client that Lovenox injection should what? Be injected into the deltoid muscle, be injected into the abdomen, aspirated after the injection, or Clear the air from the syringe before injection. What are we thinking? Shout out to all 400 and how many of y'all are in here and rocking with me. Y'all know what I'm saying? We're doing NCLEX questions. Hey, I want to know who you are, where you're from, where you're at in your nursing journey. All right. Hey, who said these are easy? Hey, Nathan, they may be easy for you, but if they were easy, why am I, Why are people getting them wrong? Hmm? Answer that. Answer that, sir. Answer me that. Riddle me this. All right, I'm going to give you all 10 seconds. He said, uh, you want to leave the bubble and NCLEX in a week. That's what I'm talking about. This is actually challenging. Case in point. Case in point for when people come up in here and start telling me what's easy and what's not. You know what I'm saying? I, I graduated on Thursday NCLEX soon. That's what I'm talking about. And I got it wrong. Look at that. Ain't that some shit? It says, uh, let, let him teach. Be quiet. Yeah, you're a little, little, little. Hey, let me cook. You know what I'm saying? Sizzling on this mother. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Y'all are awesome. Here we go. Here is our answer. Here is our answer. Hey, don't come over here acting a fool. You feel me? <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, I did that for you, Sandy. All right, here we go. And the answer is, it says B is to inject into the abdomen, right? Inject into the abdomen. All right. Hey, remember, when you guys are studying, you guys want content, you want questions and answers, right? And you need the rationale. The rationale solidify whatever the answer is based off of the question. All right. That's what it is. That's what it is. Nathan graduated. I don't know. I don't know what. Hey, hey, by the way, y'all. Hey, by the way. All right. I got a victory guide. I got an ebook. Hey, I got over there's over 780 pages of 
information that is inside of that ebook, y'all. And it, you know what? Hey, and it goes for $29 right now. And remember, the path to conquering the NCLEX begins with you. All right. Don't, I don't want to hear nobody say, well, my school didn't do this. My school didn't do that. I don't care about your school because your school's not taking the exam. You are. So guess what you have to do? You have to put in the work and wherever you're missing or wherever you're deficit at, that's where you got to start. You know what I mean? That's where you got to start. By the way, if anybody decides to get this, you get all free updates, right? So every so often there's going to be updates that are going to go in there. just going to be reformatting. And once you get it, once you get it forever. You know what I'm saying? And that is my guarantee and love to all of y'all that decide to rock with me. Uh, your your uh, was it your best grade for Hesse? Hey, your best grade is good. I used them when I was in school too. Here we go. Question number 11. The nurse has a pre-order, I'm sorry, a pre-op order to administer Valium or uh, di uh, oh my God. Diazepam. Oh my God. 10 milligrams and uh, uh, Phenergan, 25 milligrams. The correct method of administering these medications is to what? Right. So we're talking about medical administration. Right. Administer the medication together in one syringe administer the medication separately, separately administer the Valium, wait five minutes and then inject the Phenergan or question the order because they cannot be given at the same time. What are we thinking? Hey, there are some medications that can be given in the same line. Right. You just need to know which can. Like, here's an example. And this is not on here. Can anything be can anything be given when blood is being given through the same line? And the answer is no. Right. Can any medications be given when there's total parenteral uh, nutrition? No, absolutely not. Cannot. There are some. So there's some what there's some of those that you just can't do. But there are some that have the right chemical factors that can be mixed together and given through the same line. OK, so you got to be aware of what you can do and what you can't do. By the way, if you're an LPN, you got to realize what your role is, what you what your roles and responsibilities are, what you can and can't do and what you can and cannot accept. OK, that is what you need to know. And the answer is B. The answer is B. Administer the medication separately. Medication should not be mixed in one syringe unless indicated by the physician. Right. That is pharmacological parenteral therapies. You know what I'm saying? Pharmacology. Second largest section on the NCLEX, 14 to 18 percent. All right. So these are the ones that you guys have really got to pay attention to. You got to pay attention to all of them, but you got to pay attention to the, the big three. I'm trying to tell you management of care or if you're a PN doing coordinated care. Hey, no, it is not a game. It is not a game out here. Appreciate all the follows from everybody coming and rocking with us. Here we go. Question number 12. A client with frequent urinary tract infections asked the nurse how she can prevent the reoccurrence. The nurse should teach the client to what? Douche after intercourse, avoid or says void every three hours, obtain a urinalysis monthly or wipe back to front after voiding. OK, so I didn't make these questions. You know what I'm saying? I didn't make these questions, but some of these I'm just like, nah, bro. Like, what do you mean? Like, why would that answer even be on here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why would I even be on here? I was looking for the, with the stimmy. I can't uh, P wave uh, ST ST segment elevation. Uh, very obviously wrong. What you mean? What you mean? Hey, shout out to everybody that's in here rocking with me. All right. Hey, we got these questions off nurseslabs.com. These are not my questions. All right. Not my questions. Make sure you guys go over there and check those out. Those are nurseslabs.com. Also, hey, we're on the road to 10,000 likes. On the road to 10,000 likes. Hey, get carpal tunnel for me. Make it happen. Oh, the answer choice is D. Okay. All right. I got you. I got you. It says white front to back. White in front to back or back to front is crazy. Not if you're a dude. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. You know what I mean. Here we go, y'all. Here's our answer. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, void every three hours. That's what you want to do. Void every three hours. Prevent stagnant urine from collecting in the bladder where bacteria can grow. Notice how it wasn't um, D. We don't do. We, I mean, ladies, you, you don't do the back to front because that is crazy because who does that? Um, health promotions and maintenance, nine to 15 percent on the NCLEX exam. Hey, y'all are rocking. Y'all are rocking on here. I appreciate you. Miss Anna, thank you for the flower. Appreciate you. Here we go. Question number 13. Which task should be assigned to the nursing assistant? Now, think about it. If you're the RN, you do delegation, right? You are the team lead. You can delegate a tasks and assignments to LPNs and uh, UAPs or nursing assistants. So which one can they do that fits what's inside their scope of practice? Placing the client in seclusion, emptying the Foley catheter of a pre-eclamptic client, feeding the client with dementia or ambulating the client with a hip fracture. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Hey, if you guys are new here, hey, once again, I want to know who you are, where you're from, where you're at in your nursing journey. He said, I wish the NCLEX was this easy. Hey, if you practice, Colton, 
I, well, I, I don't know. I don't know how many times you've taken it, but if you practice, I'm telling you, when I went in there the fourth time and I took my NCLEX exam, let me tell you something right now. I sat there. I was in my mode. It was about a little over an hour and I was done. And I was like, damn, that was it. Oh, I passed that shit. And I walked out. Sure enough, later, you know, two days later, results passed, you know, nurse. First semester in nursing school. OK, graduate with my BSN on Friday. That's what I'm talking about, Hannah. Vegas, first year. OK. Shout out to all 700 plus of y'all. Y'all let me know where y'all are from, where y'all are at in your nursing journey. And if you're not a nurse, then you need to leave. No, I'm just playing. Y'all can stay. I rock with y'all. From B more, from Baltimore, okay? Uh, anyone want to be a study partner? Hey, by the way, hey, yo, hey, 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 foster a good environment. You know what I'm saying? Get a good environment going on here. Y'all, hey, D.C. area, hey, Texas area, New York, hey, wherever y'all, hey, whatever y'all need to do to help each other out, all right? Teaching is the best way of learning. I'm trying to tell you right, right now. Medical scribe in Texas. Hey, I live in Texas. You know, shout out to San Antonio. Anybody that lives in San Antonio, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Any answer, of course, is C. Feeding the client with dementia. Of these clients, the one uh, should be assigned. Uh, it says uh, the one who should be assigned to the to the care of the nursing assistant is uh, is feeding of the client with dementia. That is management of care. That is the largest section on the NCLEX at 18 to 23%. All right. 18 to 23 percent. Why give them a patient with dementia? Because of dementia, that's a stable patient. Now, if I gave it to somebody who just had a stroke an hour ago. No, obviously not. I'm not going to give a stroke patient that just had a stroke an hour ago. Give them to my UAP and be like, hey, I need for you to feed them. Nope, that's not that's not how we do that. That's not how we do that. We don't do that at all. Here we go. Question number 14. The client has recently returned from a, uh, a thyroidectomy, right? Keyword recently from what a surgical procedure, the nurse should keep which of the following at the bedside, a trach set, pa uh, a padded tongue blade, an endotracheal tube, an airway. And I know what somebody's going to, somebody's about to say something up in here. I know somebody's going to be like, all of the above. Well, sorry, we definitely can't. Hey, if you could choose one, what would it be? If you could choose one, what would it be? New grad L and D nurse. Shout out to you. Is it Caitlin? Miss Caitlin. Got you. I see you out there. Shout out to all 700 plus of y'all in here rocking with me. We're doing NCLEX questions. Hey, we're on the road to 20,000 likes, South Carolina. All right. Hey, I got some people that live out there, you know, you know, Rock Hill area, you know what I'm saying? Chester, you know what I'm saying? I got y'all. All right. Uh, Miss Jill Weber, thank you for the flower. I appreciate you. Hey, I just say, whatever love y'all give me, whatever, hey, I appreciate it all. Hey, I do this for you. Hey, if I, if, if I promise you that if nobody showed up, if I had zero followers, I would still do this. You want to know why? Because every one of these lives will end up going on YouTube. So make sure you guys check me out on YouTube too. The YouTube is at the boot nurse. Uh, how do you have any, what? How do you have any, how, what? How do you have an airway at bedside? You know what? That's a good question, Mr. Patel. Um, like, that's why I was just like, yo, you better read the question, right? They're like, hey, somebody tell me all the above, right? You better have an airway. That, that fool better be breathing. All right, here we go. And the answer is the trach set. The client who recently had a, a thyroidectomy is at risk for tracheal edema. So that's a reduction of risk potential, 9 to 15% on the NCLEX exam. Nashville, shout out to Nashville. You know what I'm saying? May or may not have been there once or twice in the airport. Um, <laughs> hey, I do plan on going to... Nashville, those and go hang out. So here we go. Question number 15. The physician has ordered a histoplasmosis test for the elderly client. The nurse is aware that a histoplasmosis is transmitted to humans by what? Is it dirty ass cats, cute ass dogs, um, ninja turtles, or birds? <laughs> what are we thinking? What are we thinking, y'all? Chickens? What you mean, chickens? It ain't even on here. Come on, guy or, or gal. Turtles. The dirty cats, not the dirty cats. Hey, I love, hey, I wish, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I wish I had a cat and it was one of those hairless cats and I'm gonna like get one of the, 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 uh, the, what is it, the animal friendly paints and turn them purple and then I'm just gonna call him Beerus and he's gonna be the destroyer of worlds inside of my house. So, hey, anybody get that reference? Does anybody get that reference? All right, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Hey, Bruno, what's the, hey, what's the reference? Anybody got it? Yes. Yes, Lord. You already know the deal. Dragon Ball Z up in here. That's what I'm saying. That's right. All right, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Here's our answer in three, two. And the answer is birds. The answer is birds. It's not cats. It's birds. Physiological adaptation, y'all. Physiological adaptation. By the way, here's where the here's where it gets a little complicated for some people. OK, so if something is wrong, this is where you do the additional research for yourself. Toxoplasmosis, right? 
This is where you do the additional research for yourself. So many people want to be like, oh my God, Kevin, you got it wrong. Hey, first of all, you can chill out. All right, that's number one. Number two, if it's wrong, do the research and look it up. Remember, we're not perfect out here. Not No, no review is perfect out here. All right, I'm just letting y'all know. Hey, by the way, y'all, I have an NCLEX course, right? I have an NCLEX course at... This website right here, thebootnurse.com slash special. It is a course that is $97. You get it for a lifetime. And, I, and by lifetime, I mean your life. And then if you want to pass it down to your descendants, you can do that as well. Um, but yeah, that course, lifetime updates. I have an NCLEX. I have a new generation NCLEX review that is in there. And I am currently putting the seven day review in there right now. I'm going to be doing it in pieces because I'm having some issues because it's holiday times. So you guys can go over there and definitely check that out. All right. So check that out for yourself. That is at that website right there. The bootnurse.com slash special. Hey, by the way, I need for everybody to come here on Friday. I need for everybody to come here on Friday because I got a surprise for y'all. I got a surprise for y'all. Hold on one second. Hey, by the way, if you guys start seeing people come in here and try to sell me their nudes, um, let me know. That way I can ban them because why sell? Why would I want to buy your nudes when we can get them for free? Here we go. Question 16. What's the first intervention for a patient experiencing chest pain and has a PaO2 of 90 or uh, uh, 89%? Is it morphine, oxygen, sublingual, nitroglycerin, or do we want to put them on an EKG? <coughs> what are we thinking? Shout out to all 700 plus y'all listening to me run my mouth. And I'm just letting you know, hey, if you come to my chat and you start to try to sell me stuff or you're being a fool, I'm going to give you a 600. A 600, that just means 600 seconds, which equals 10 minutes. And that's how long I'm going to ban that ass. And, and, and in reality, I'm just going to ban you forever because I ain't got no time going back to unban somebody. So if you want to get a 600, act a fool if you want. Hey, shout out to y'all. Give me the 20,000 likes. You already know what the deal is. Give me the, give me the 30. Give me the 30. Hey, and if you guys are new here, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, we have a hey, we have a good time over here. We have a riot. You know what I'm saying? It says I like the name, bro. Look, I, pre I appreciate you, man. Hey, Kev, hey, my man, Kev, hey, anybody's name is Kevin. You know what I'm saying? It's awesome. Hey, so we want to administer oxygen, right? Administering sub uh, supplemental oxygen to a client is the first priority. Oxygen. Oh, I'm sorry. Administer oxygen to increase the SpO2 to greater than 90 percent to prevent further cardiac damage, right? And that's physiological adaptation, which is the third largest section on the NCLEX. The third largest section on the NCLEX at 11 to 17 percent. Shout out to all 1,200 of y'all in here rocking with me. We're doing NCLEX questions. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys share. Make sure you guys follow. Remember, O2, hey, think of your ABCs. Also, with your ABCs comes your level of consciousness, all right? Those four things entail something that needs to be taken care of. Think about Maslow's physical versus psychosocial, right? Here we go. Question 17, which of the following signs and symptoms usually sig uh, signifies rapid expansion and impending rupture of an abdominal aortic aneurysm? Is it abdominal pain? Is it absent pulse, uh, pedal pulses? Is it chest pain or is it lower back pain? What are we thinking? Hey, by the way, a little bit about me. I've been in the Navy, the United States Navy for 16 years uh, as a hospital corpsman. I've been a surgical tech. I've been a, I'm a master instructor in the Navy as well. Um, I've taught so many different courses to include a surgical technology program to now uh, a trauma nurse instructor, as well as I've been on two deployments. Um, and yeah, that's just a little bit about me. That's why I keep asking y'all, what are y'all doing in here? Who are you and where you're from? Those are the type of things. That's how, hey, that's how we build community, baby. That's how we do this around here. Former Corman, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, shout out to the Coasties. Lower back pain. All right, hold on one second. I got to get somebody else to 600 because they want to start to sell me nudies. Apparently they weren't here for the memo. All right, here we go. All right. It says I'm a nursing major. Shout out to y'all. Give y'all five more seconds in three, two. Hey, who is it? Uh, is it Taryn? Taryn, there was a there was one point two up in here. And the answer is yes. Lower back pain. It is D. Physiological adaptation. Physiological adaptation. Right. Which is the third largest section on the NCLEX exam. Eleven to 17 percent lower back pain results from the expansion of the aneurysm. The expansion applies pressure in the abdomen and the pain is referred to the lower back. Remember, physiological adaptation, third largest section, all right? Those are the biggest sections. So acute, trauma, chronic issues. That's part of what physiological adaptation is all about, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the follows. Appreciate all the likes. Hey, we're on the 30,000 likes. Make it happen, y'all. Here we go. Question number 18. Which of the following types of cardiomyopathy does cardiac output remain normal? All right? Is it obliterative? Is it restrictive, dilated, or uh, hypertrophic? What are we thinking? Hey, Kev, how late am I? Sky, uh, uh, kind of late. We, uh, we've been doing this for about, mm, about 30 minutes already. So 
but uh, I think you'll get it. I think you'll get a good amount. I think you'll get a good amount, Sky. Hey, if you guys are new here, welcome. We're doing NCLEX questions. Got them off nurseslabs.com. By the way, the those questions are free. If you're a new nurse and you're or a new nursing student, you guys can go over there and check them out. They, hey, I'm telling you, the care plans, I don't gatekeep. All right. The care plans is, are the same care plans that I and trust and believe every other nurse in, in, the, in the United States has used when it comes to doing care plans when you're in nursing school. All right. And these are also for LPNs as well. The biggest thing about LPN is that you need to know what you can and can't do and what you can and cannot accept. I'm definitely late. Had to grab food. Monet, that's OK. You already know the deal. All right. Here we go. And the answer is D. It's hyper hypertrophic cardio cardiomyopathy is a condition in which there is a severe ventricular uh, 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 was a hyper hypertrophy and poor diastolic filling. It is an autonomic dominant or I'm sorry, it is a autosomal dominant uh, condition wherein the heart muscles uh, was asymmetrically increase in size and the mass along the septum. Right. That is physiological adaptation, which is what third largest section of the what? Yeah, the NCLEX, right? 11 to 17 percent. 11 to 17 percent. It says, where are the care plans? I don't know. There's somewhere on that website. Nice to know that, Kev. Yeah, yeah, AJ, I got you. All right. So, hey, nurseslabs.com. I know that they're over there. Go put in the work and go look. I can't find them. I can't do everything for you. You know what I'm saying? Go over there and look. Nurses Labs. Nurses. So, nurses meaning more than one. Labs being more than one. So, nurseslabs.com. All right. Make sure you guys go over there and check those out. Here we go. Question 19. Which of the following interventions should be your first priority when treating a patient experiencing chest pain while walking. Have the patient sit down, get the patient back to the bed, obtain an ECG, or administer sublingual nitroglycerin. So what is the very first thing that you want to do? It says, I'm a medic LPN uh, to RN. I failed NCLEX RN the first time, pass on the second CCRN nurse manager. You know, And by Jen saying that, y'all, I'm telling y'all, no one cares if you fail your exam. They're not going to ask you that. No one's going to be like, hey, Jen, I heard you failed your NCLEX the first time you were in nursing school. Sorry, you don't qualify for this job. Who no, who the hell does that? No one does that. <clears throat> no job will ever do that. Trust and believe me. So get out of your own head and get out of your way. You still did it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. all I failed three times. First time, 75 questions. Second time, 265 questions. Imagine that. Right. And then the second time was or the third time was 103 or 106. You see what I'm saying? And then, the, and then the last time it was 60 because it was during COVID. So get out of your way. No one cares. No one cares. All right. Get out of your own head and put in the fucking work. All right. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. And we as leadership don't ask. Exactly. Here we go. And the answer, is, of course, is a hey, have the patient sit down. That is initial. Hey, my, oh, my chest is hurting. All right. Well, let's sit you down. Right. Because guess what? You let them keep walking back to the bed. They're then going to come, become a fall risk. Right. And trust me, a falling body is a very heavy body. Good luck to you, right? Physiological adaptation. Third largest section on the NCLEX, 11 to 17%. Trust and believe me when I tell you. You do not want to hear a body fall ever from a bed, from, from standing. It's, 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 yeah, you, you don't want to hear it, all right? Here we go. Question number 20. Which of the following positions would best aid breathing for a patient with acute pulmonary edema? Is it lying flat? in the bed, left side lying position, high Fowlers or semi Fowlers. What are we thinking? Hey, if you guys are new here, welcome. We're doing NCLEX questions. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Hey, we need, we need 30,000 likes. We need 30,000 likes and I need for y'all to share and I need for y'all to follow. And I also want to know who you are, where you're from, where you're at in your nursing journey, where you are at in your nursing journey. All right. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Hey, don't hey, don't come here and take all this information and then not share it with somebody. Like that's like that's 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 just me. That's just me. First final semester. All right, Sophie, I see you. Senior in nursing. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Take the NCLEX in January. Yes, Lord. Been a nurse for 15 years. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to y'all. It says crush my final today. Yes. Hey, take a break. It's okay to take a day. Who said I passed my NCLEX on Friday? Oh, I passed my NCLEX today. Desi. Yes, girl. That's what I'm talking about. It says, and I didn't, and I didn't study what? I didn't say Desi. That's what I'm talking about. What did I tell you? What did I tell you that I told, hey, everybody right now, y'all need to give Desi all the love right now. Tell her right now. Tell her that you love her. Tell her that you're proud of her. Tell her welcome to this greatest shit show on earth known as nursing. Congratulate her right now. All right. Desi, congratulations to you. Hey, if you have one thing that you could pass along to everybody that's here in regards to studying for the NCLEX, what would it be? What would it be? All right. Here we go. Y'all. Here's our answer. The answer is C. High Fowler's position. High Fowler's position uh, uh, facilitates breathing by reducing venous return. 
uh, lying flat and side lying worsens breathing and increases heart workload. That is physiological adaptation. Third largest section on the NCLEX at 11 to 17 percent. All right. And so many of y'all are going to be taking the NCLEX and best believe your boy is going to be here for it. I'm going to be doing these lives. As a matter of fact, something that new that I'm going to do, I'm going to try to bring on one or two people after they pass their NCLEX. So that way y'all can give motivation to all the other people that are going to be doing stuff up in here. I think if y'all like that, hey, if y'all like that, smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Hey, by the way, y'all, this is the question that I got every, I got all the time. Kevin, do you do private tutoring? Yes, I do private tutoring. Yes. Yes, I do it for HESI. Yes, I do it for ATI. And absolutely 100%, I do it for NCLEX. NCLEX is my bread and butter. NCLEX is what I love. NCLEX is what I do. So, Anybody that is interested in doing a private call and you guys want to do a private tutoring session with me, you, I say you get an hour plus. Look, I've been on the I've been on a call with people for two, two plus hours. You know what I'm saying? So I try to answer as many questions as I possibly can within that a lot of the amount of time. So that way you can leave talking to me, having some type of confidence in what you do. What about the NREMT? I don't do NREMT. I, I was a NAEMT instructor for P, uh, PHTLS and TCCC for quite some time. So. Who told me next? Hey, is it is it Yazzy or Yanzi? Hey, don't tell me next. Hey, if you're in a rush, which you shouldn't be because you're sitting on a phone. See how quiet it got? We on your time. The hell you think this is? Anyways, question 21. A pregnant woman arrives to the emergency department, right, with a, a, a abrupto placentae at 34 weeks gestation. She is at risk for which of the following blood uh, decrassiasis? De uh, is it uh, the heparin associated throm uh, uh, throm oh my God, thrombosis and uh, thrombocytopenia? Is it idiopathic thrombocytopenic uh, papyrus, uh, thrombocytopenia, or disseminated intravascular coagulation? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Hey, I'm telling you right now, don't come in here and tell me next. I'd rather you leave. Don't come in here and tell me next. Don't tell me what to do on this live. If you don't like it, go away. It's okay. It doesn't cut off at 85. Uh, if it doesn't cut off at 85, that's what I'm saying. Hey, once you get, if you get to question 86, listen to me. If you get to question 86, uh, do you find that ATI? Hold on. We'll help. Yes. Um, same thing with Hesse. Uh, I'm not going to try to guess the answer. Hey, look, if you don't know it, you can guess. Think about, think about the area of what, of what this is. We're in labor. It's an emergency department, but you have a patient that's pregnant. So that's an L and D maternity type of patient, right? So think about it like that. Remember the NCLEX wants you, wants you to use critical thinking in regards to application and analysis and apply it to make a clinical judgment, okay? That's what it is. That's what it's all about. All right, here we go, y'all. Here's our answer. Here's our answer in three, two. And the answer is D, right? Disseminated intravascular coagulation. Abrupto placentae is a cause of DIC because it activates the clotting cascade after hemorrhage, okay? After hemorrhage. Right. Reduction of risk potential, which is nine to 15 percent on the NCLEX exam, nine to 15 percent. All right. Smaller section. But those smaller sections will start will start to add up kind of like when election time happens in Texas and people think it's going to be a blue state, but it ends up being red. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you, because I'm small spots out in Texas will do it to you. It says currently reviewing for NCLEX. Hello from the Philippines. Grace. Hey, I'm telling you right now, I love all I love all the nurses, nursing students from the Philippines. I get so many messages from people from the Philippines. It's a hey, shout out to everybody in the Philippines and shout out to all my African nurses that are out there, too, because I get so many questions from them, too. I love the fact that you guys have such a passion of wanting to do this because you have to have some type of passion to want to be a nurse. You have to. California taking NCLEX for the fourth time uh, at the end of this month. Is it a V baby? That's what I'm talking about, girl. Keep doing it. Question 22. A 16 year old patient involved in a motor vehicle accident uh, arrives in the ED unconscious and severely hypotensive. Uh, he's suspected of having several fractures in his pelvis and legs. Which of the following parenteral fluids is the best choice for this condition? Is it packed red blood cells, uh, sodium chloride, or I'm sorry, 0.9% uh, sodium chloride, lactated ringers, or fresh frozen plasma? Remember, what is the best? If I could do one thing and leave, what would it be? Now, think about it. I have a 16-year-old who is in the emergency room who is hypotensive. Right. Who has fractures in his pelvis. What would be the best thing I would want to give him? If I could do one thing and leave, what would it be? This is what I tell you. This is where the critical thinking comes into play. All right. He's probably he's probably right. It says ATI is harder than the NCLEX. Yes, it is. So if you're if you are doing the cat, uh, that means that they are hard. Yeah. There you go, Des. Miss Desi Desi. 
All right, y'all, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Here's our answer. It says a bleeding dude. Yep. A bleeding dude. Are you telling me, dude? I don't I don't I don't know what that means. Um, here we go. Here's our answer, y'all. Here's our answer in three, two. And the answer, of course, is a packed red blood cells in a trauma situation. The first blood, I'll say the first blood product given is unmatched O negative packed red blood cells. That is part of physiological adaptation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna somebody asked me about critical thinking. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if I have somebody who comes into my emergency room and they are, and I put them on vitals, they have a heart rate of 130, but they have a blood pressure of 90 over 60, and it keeps going, and it's 85 over 55, that's telling me that the, there's, no, there's, no, there's no water flowing in the pipes, so there's a breakage somewhere, right? So instantly, you're telling me he has a pelvic injury. How much blood can the pelvis hold? How much blood can the pelvis hold? A lot, ladies and gentlemen, it can hold a lot. You know what I mean? So if I have a blood pressure that is low and he's unconscious with a pelvic injury from a motor vehicle accident, my man is probably bleeding inside of his pelvis, a.k.a. we need to replace the blood because he's bleeding out somewhere else. All right. That's how you critic. That's how you critically think using analysis and applying it and making a clinical judgment. And that right there is your answer for clinical judgment. All right. Y'all asked me to do it and I just did it. So here we go. Question 23. Uh, cortical steroids are potent suppressors of the body's anti or I'm sorry, inflammatory response. All right. Which of the following conditions or actions do they suppress? Is it uh, uh, Cushing syndrome, pain receptors, immune response or uh, or neural transmission? What are we thinking? Shout out to all. Well, I had like eleven hundred people up in here, but shout out to all nine hundred and twenty six of y'all in here rocking with me. We're doing NCLEX questions. I got them off nurseslabs.com. Nurseslabs.com. They are free sets of questions. Y'all go over there and y'all check those out. All right. Hey, don't come to my chat. Try to sell me nudes. Try to rush me or try to tell me how to run it. Because guess what? If you want to do it, you do it your damn self. You see what I'm saying? So I will ban, I will give you a 600 and a 600. All that means I'm just going to ban you forever. All right. So hey, we're on the road to 40,000 likes. Make sure that happens. By the way, I want to know who you are, where you're from and where you are at in your nursing journey. And if you are not a nurse on that journey, what do you do? I've had some PAs in here, medical students. I've had some PhD doctors, MD doctors, all, all the good folks up in here. You know what I'm saying? All those folks up in here. And we try to foster a good community down in the chat. So don't act the fuck up. All right. Here we go. Question and the answer is C. It is the immune response. Cortical steroids suppress. Uh, is it uh, the EO, the EO, EO, eosinophil? Oh, my God. Eosinophil. Oh, my God. Eosinophil, lymphocytes and natural Killer cells inhibiting the natural inflammatory process in an infection or injured part of the body. This helps resolve inflammation, uh, stabilizes uh, was it the light. The, lyso the lysosomal uh, membranes decreasing capillary permeability and depresses uh, phagocytosis of tissues by white blood cells, thus blocking the release of more inflammatory material. Pharmacological and parenteral therapy, that is the second largest section on the NCLEX at 14 to 18 percent. Let me tell you, some of these words are a mouthful and you will never use them when you are working in a f on the floor. Walk up to someone and be like, yeah, the, the lysosomal membrane, somebody's going to slap shit out of you. Don't do not do that. Don't do that to yourself. All right. <laughs> That's all I love. I promise. I promise. Here we go. Here we go. Central Texas. Hey, Heather, what part of Central Texas? What, what part? Don't tell me Belton. Don't you tell me Temple. Don't you tell me Harker Heights. Don't you tell me Colleen. Don't you tell me Cove. Don't you tell me none of those. Don't you tell me none of those. All right, here we go. Question 24. A patient infected with HIV begins, is it the, the Zydo, Zydophidine Therapy, which of the following statements best describes this uh, drug action? I'm trying to I'm trying to read some of these people in this funny. Uh, it stimulates the immune system and destroys the outer wall of the virus and kills it. It interferes with viral replication or it promotes excretion of viral antibodies. What are we thinking? Everybody saying C, C, shout out to all 700 of y'all. Hey, by the way, if you're an LPN, a UAP, a, a patient care tech, a CNA, Freaking whoever, like all those ancillary, all those ancillary stuff. Like, I, I, hey, listen, I love y'all. Let me tell you something. I love y'all. As an RN, I love y'all because I'm telling you right now, there's so many things I couldn't do without y'all. X ray, respiratory therapy, occupational therapy, all y'all. You know what I'm saying? And y'all don't get enough love and y'all don't get enough credit. Oh my God. Here we go again about lab. I don't like lab because y'all keep telling me that my shit is hemolyzed and I don't like that. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I love lab. Shout out to lab. Shout out to pharmacy. I y'all just got to make sure y'all get my neo up and get the neo up in the floor. Shout out to my search text. Shout out to my endo. Shout out to endo. I see y'all out there. Hey, I appreciate all y'all. I, I give nobody nothing but love. 
Nothing but love. It's already hard. It was EMS. Shout out to my paramedics. I wish Kate was here, but Kate's not here yet. So, and the answer is C. It interferes with viral replication. That's part of pharmacological and parenteral therapy. Shout out to my paramedics and my medics. Hey, listen. Listen, I'm a corpsman, y'all. I'm a hospital corpsman in the Navy. I know exactly what y'all go through. You know what I'm saying? I did it for a long time. Uh, what is it? It inhibits the DNA synthesis of HIV, thus interfering with viral replication. The drug does not destroy the viral wall, viral wall, stimulate the immune system, or promote HIV antibody excretion. Pharmacological parenteral therapies. All right. Pharmacological parenteral therapies, 14 to 18% on the NCLEX exam. EMS or EMT firefighter, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Question 25. A 20 year old patient is being treated for pneumonia. He has a persistent cough and complains of severe pain on coughing. What could you tell him to help him reduce this discomfort? Hold your cough as much as possible. Place your head on your, uh, yeah, place the head on, uh, sorry, pro- oh my God, place the head of your bed flat so that helps you, so that helps with cough, restrict fluids to uh, help decrease the amount of sputum or splint the chest wall with a pillow for comfort. Man, obviously, I don't know how to read out here. Everybody's telling me D. Everybody's telling me D. D all day. Okay, Heather, I see you. I see you out there. I see you out there. Hey, because I've seen some videos of like some, you know, like we're all at each other's throat. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. It's hard. Like, you know, nurses, RNs and LPNs, you know, yelling at CNAs and vice versa, going back and forth with doc. Like it's hard out here. It's already hug, hug that pillow. That's what I'm talking about. It's already hard. It's already hard enough out here. So if I could spread some type of positivity to where it's just like, you know what, let's try to make some shit better. Let's make some shit better. You know what I'm saying? And always remember your and always remember your scope of practice. And I think that's what a lot of people forget, too. You know, because like liabilities, especially when it comes to your licenses. All right, here we go, y'all. Here's our answer in three, two. And the answer is D. Splint your chest wall with that pillow. Hug that pillow. You know what I'm saying? Showing this patient how to splint his chest wall will help decrease discomfort when coughing. That is actually basic care and comfort, which is our very first one. All right, Miss Camille, how, I see you out there. I see that you're here. Thank you for announcing that. I appreciate you. Basic care and comfort, 6 to 12%. 6 to 12% on the NCLEX, lower section of the NCLEX. However, this is something that you would learn when you guys are in fundamentals or foundations, right? So that's why it's always good to go back to the basics and understand, hey, don't forget what you learned at the beginning because it's always going to be there. Hey, one other thing, I do actual NCLEX coaching and mentoring. I do coaching and mentoring. You guys can check that out. That is over there at theboutnurse.com slash coaching. This is mostly for NCLEX and I do coaching for NCLEX and mentoring essentially and beyond. And beyond. All right. So it's and beyond. So once you take NCLEX, we talk about how to get you how to get your first job. Interview processes. Uh, what else? Interview processes uh, and, you know, all the things that you're going to go through within your first two years, as well as other jobs that you can do as a nurse that have nothing to do with bedside. All right. Nothing to do with bedside. And to I hope I'm not too surprising y'all, but just because you're a nurse does not mean you have to work at bedside. All right. Here we go. Question 26. A 19 year old patient comes to the ED with acute asthma. Keyword. His respiratory rate is 44 breaths per minute. And he appears to have or to be in an acute respiratory distress. Which of the following actions should you take first? What is the very first thing I want to do? All right. Systematically, one, two, three or four. Uh, take a full medical history, give a bronchodilator by nebulizer, apply a cardiac monitor to the patient or provide emotional support for the patient. Oh, Madison, why are you yelling at me? All right, cool. I see you. B, red zone. OK. Who said no doctor? <laughs> it says D, no doctor's orders. OK. Hey, so here's the thing. on NCLEX. On NCLEX, do you have the order? On NCLEX, do you have the order? Prioritize airway. Okay. Yes. Aaliyah says you do. Hey, on NCLEX, you have the order. You have it all. All right. You have the order. You have the people. It's a perfect world. There you go. NCLEX is perfect world, ladies and gentlemen. So everything that you think that you don't have, especially if you've been working out in the field for however long, trust and believe on NCLEX, you got it. And that's why it's perfect world, right? Here we go. Here we go, y'all. It says you have everything that you need. Exactly. Here we go, y'all. Here's our answer. Here's our answer in three, two. And the answer is B. Give a bronchodilator by nebulizer. Uh, What is it? The patient having an acute. Keyword is acute, meaning, hey, it's happening right now and it's not supposed to, right? Acute asthma attack needs more oxygen delivery to his lungs and body. Nebulized bronchodilators open airways and increase the amount of oxygen delivery. That is physiological adaptation. Remember what I said earlier, physiological adaptation, right? That is acute 
chronic trauma type of issues that are happening with your patient. This is an acute issue that's happening, right? So you can already know what, what category it's going to fall under. 11 to 17% on the NCLEX exam, all right? Appreciate all the follows. I can't keep up. There's so many of y'all. But I appreciate all the follows. I appreciate all the love from everybody, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Question number 27. And a firefighter, so shout out to my EMS firefighters out there. I see y'all. A firefighter who was involved in extinguishing a house is being treated for smoke inhalation. He developed severe, hy severe hypox hypoxia 48 hours after the incident requiring intubation and mechanical ventilation. Which of the following conditions has he most likely developed? What are we thinking? Is it atelectasis? Atelectasis. Oh my God, y'all, I said it right. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Pneumonia, bronchitis, or is it acute respiratory distress syndrome? What are we thinking? All right, everybody's saying D. I just want to let y'all know, A, I say wrong all the time on purpose and on accident. So it says no way the NCLEX is this easy. A, I didn't say that the NCLEX was easy, right? Ards, okay. Hey, there are questions that'll come out there, right? There are questions that'll... that'll Put it this way, you want on NCLEX, you want to get to the hard questions. That is the goal, is to get to the hard questions, okay? So if you feel that this question is hard or if you feel that it's easy, then okay. I can tell you right now, most folks don't get it right. I'm sorry if you guys hear my co-host back there, my son, he's over there, uh, you know, he's over there screaming. I don't know why, he's just, he's a toddler and he just does what he wants. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Here's our answer. Here's our answer in three, two. And the answer is, of course, D, acute respiratory distress syndrome. We have severe hypoxia after smoke inhalation typically is related to ARDS. The other choices aren't typically associated with smoke inhalation. That is physiological adaptation, which is the third largest section on the NCLEX exam at 11 to 17 percent. All right. 11 to 17 percent. Hey, remember, it's about reading content, doing your questions and answers and your rationale. Your rationale solidify what you are learning. It is solidifying what you have picked up from the content, what you have read in the Q&A. And it solidifies all of those like you need all three. It's not a game. It's not a joke. There's no tricks to studying for NCLEX. It's called putting in the damn work. All right. Everybody out here is like they want to try to find an easy way. If it was easy, everybody in their in their mom would do it. You know what I'm saying? So stop trying to think that you can do shit easily around here. If you think it's easy, then go away. Here we go. Question 28. Which of the following measures best, keyword, best, determines that a uh, that a patient who had a pneumothorax is no, uh, no longer needs a chest tube? You see a lot of drainage from the chest tube. ABG levels are normal. The chest x-ray continues to show the lung at 35% deflated. Or the water seal chamber doesn't fluctuate uh, when no suction is applied. What are we thinking? What is this? D uh, related to what? Playing along? <laughs> Stop it. Hey, shout out to everybody in here rocking with me. We're doing NCLEX questions. Got them off nurseslabs.com. Free sets of questions for nurseslabs.com. All right, make sure you guys go over there and check that out. Also, make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys share. Make sure you guys follow. Hey, 50,000 likes, y'all. 50, hey, we almost there. 50, hey, get carpal tunnel for me. There's some people that already did it and I gave them a break. You know what I'm saying? So start tapping with your toes and then breathe through your nose. Kevin Gates style. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Five seconds. And three, two. And the answer is D. The water seal chamber doesn't fluctuate, right, when no suction is applied. The chest tube isn't removed until the patient's lungs have adequately re-expanded and is expected to stay that way. One indication of re-expansion is the cessation of fluctuation in the water seal chamber when suction isn't applied. That is reduction of risk potential, right? Yeah, lung recoil. Got to bring that thing back up. Get all that positive pressure out of that negative space, right? Because there's not supposed to be, uh, all, air is supposed to go inside the lung, not on the outside. You know what I mean? So, reduction of risk potential, 9 to 15% on the NCLEX, okay? One of those lower, lower sections, however, still very, very much important, all right? Here we go. Question number 29. Which of the following nursing interventions sh uh, should you use to prevent foot drop? and contractures in a patient recovering from a subdural hematoma. Is it high-toed sneakers, low-dose uh, heparin therapy, physical therapy consultation, or, sub uh, or sub oh my God, sequential compression device? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Hey, if you guys are new here, welcome. Doing NCLEX questions. I want to know who you are, where you're from, and where you are at in your nursing journey. A little bit about me. Failed my NCLEX three times. Failed my NCLEX three times. No part of me cares if you think that's cool or not. No part of me cares if you're going to judge me in regards to why am I doing questions or blah, 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 blah. 
Um, cause yeah, no part of me cares because guess what? I'm still a nurse. And then, and in the end, that's exactly what it means. You're a nurse. No one's going to care. No, and no one at work will ever ask you. It's not a flex. It's not a flex at all. You see what I'm saying? Just go out there and put in the work and keep studying. If you really want to be a nurse, keep putting in the work. I failed once. Shout out to you, Jeremy. No way. No way. What? Hey, I'm telling you right now, I, I fail at everything. But do you want to know the great thing about me failing is that I learn from what I failed for. I approve upon it and then I keep going. And that's what it's about. And that's what you need to do, too. All right. So make it happen. Don't don't make the excuses. Don't cry. Hey, and if you need a community that's going to uplift you, we got you. That's what it's here for. Right. And the answer is a high toed sneakers are used to prevent foot drop and contractures in patients with neurologic conditions. That is physiological adaptation. All right. Physiological adaptation, which is the third largest section on the NCLEX at 11 to 17 percent. Right. 11 to 17 percent physiological adaptation. Hey, so here's another thing. Some people are just like, oh, my God, I pick B, I pick C. Well, guess what? When you get when you're reading your rationale, it includes reading the answer. Right. But it also includes the answer that you chose and understanding why that answer is not correct. You see what I'm saying? No one uses that. You don't know that. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. y'all. I got to I got to I got to ban somebody else. I'm only banning bots and I'm a little sad about that. I'm a little sad about that. I got to ban somebody else. Here we go. Physiological adaptation, y'all. All All right, here we go. Question number 30. You're from Nigeria. Shout out to you. Here we go. Which of the following signs of increased intracranial pressure would appear first after head trauma? So it is the very first thing that you're going to see when somebody who has uh, ICP. Is it bradycardia? Large amounts of very diluted, diluted urine, restlessness and confusion or widened pulse pressures. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? And you got to think, if you don't do these things every day, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. This is why it's cool to do refreshers like this. This is why it's cool to do refreshers. You know, I had there was a, a, a an ICU nurse manager that's in here who's been, who hasn't done this in 10 years. And she's like, wow, I don't even remember these. And that's OK if you don't remember them. It's a, you know, people are just like, oh, my God, like, how do you not know that, bro? If you don't fucking know, you don't know. And that's OK. That's OK. All right. So I'm gonna give you all 10 more seconds. It says, took my last final today, one semester to go. That's what I'm talking about. Restlessness, LOC, C, B, diabetes, insipidus. I love these refreshers. That's what I'm talking about. I live in British Columbia. Is that what that said? British Columbia, rolling beans. And, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on one second. Hold on. All right. Here's y'all's answer, y'all. Here is the answer. And three, two. And the answer is C, restlessness and confusion. The early signs of increased ICP is a change in mental status. I'm trying to tell y'all. People keep thinking about ABCs. Yes, ABCs is very important, but I'm telling you right now, you will start to, the, somebody's level of consciousness in any type of acute setting, it's going to be the first one that you're going to notice. Like, hey, sir, do you know your name? <laughs> hey, sir, do you know what today is? <laughs> and you're going to be like, oh, oh, shit, something's not, something's not right here. Something's not right. So I need to further assess my patient. I need to further assess my patient. Shout out to all 1,400 of y'all up in here. We're doing NCLEX questions. All right. So that's what I'm trying to tell. Hey, clinical or critical thinking, use that to uh, analyze and apply to make a clinical judgment. That's what the NCLEX wants. That is what the NCLEX wants. That's what the National Board wants. All right. So shout out to everybody that's participating. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are great. Hey, and ladies and gentlemen, I know y'all about to be mad, but that is it. That's it for today. We did 30 questions today. 30 questions. By the way, I am going to do an ask me anything. I'm about to turn this camera around. I'm about to turn this camera around. And I don't know if Des, Des, Desi, are you still here? So I want to know if Des is still here. Hey, so right now we're going to, hey, we're wrapping up. I appreciate everybody participating. I appreciate all the love and all the likes. I had to ban a bunch of bots and I'm a little sad about that because I didn't get to ban a real person because I'll be petty and I'll talk shit about them later. Um, Once again, got these questions off nurseslabs.com. Nurseslabs.com. All right. Also, seven-day NCLEX course, that's over there, ladies and gentlemen. You get it for a lifetime. Also, you can get a free download if you go over there. Free download as well. Um, also, <clears throat> also need tutoring, coaching, ebook. All those links are also in my bio. All right, so now I'm about to turn this thing around. You guys get to look at this disgustingly hideous face. And if it lets me, yeah, it'll let me do it. Yo, what is up? What's up? Hey, if I look tired, it's because these allergies are fucking wild out here. They're just... They're wild out here, but hey, what's up, everybody? Today is Monday. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I hope everybody had a good weekend. What helped you the most during farm? YouTube, flashcards, YouTube and flashcards. 
for for sure for pharmacology. Handsome. Stop it. You're lying to me. Um, what time do you get on and what day? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 530. Though you can if you look at my bio, it'll be there as well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everybody coming through. What material uh, will you recommend for NCLEX? The one thing I'll tell you is you, you, you can use my course. You can use my course, seven day NCLEX course. I have actually a whole section of pharmacology in their 18 videos. This is where you located. I live in Texas. It says what uh, what helped you in anatomy and physiology? Khan Academy. Um, whoops. Let's see. I have farm final in two days and I need help. Hey, if you need help, you can check that out up there. But you can look at uh, what is it? Uh, Simple Nursing has a good one. Uh, osmosis has some good ones. They have some really good ones out there. Tips for repeat NCLEX takers. Mm, so some tips for repeat NCLEX takers is you need to have accountability. Put yourself on a schedule. Uh, you need to find some really good material. It says, what does a seven day NCLEX course consist of? Uh, I have my NCLEX in 10 days. I'm, you know what? I'm glad you asked. I'm, you know what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you right, right now once I find it. But uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I forgot who asked that. I think it was it was a Carrie. I think if I said your name right, hopefully I said your name right. Oh, Karen, Karen. I got you, Karen. Good name, by the way. You hear, you hear the sarcasm? I'm just playing, Karen. But yo, so the seven day NCLEX course right here has all this content that I go over. Right. We talk about, you know, the new generation NCLEX, the rules, critical thinking, you know, passing standards, so on and so forth. And I also have a new generation NCLEX review inside of the seven day NCLEX course. All right. And of course, meh, hold on one second. I don't need y'all being being nosies. I'm like, oh, my God, what is this password? Oh, my God. Voila. All right. Here we go. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but uh, here we go. So this uh, over here towards the left. Or all, as all the content. As a matter of fact, I'm actually about to start. I'm actually about to put about four or five videos up there today, um, and then we go over mostly content. But then, biggest thing that you get is this new generation NCLEX review that I have in here. And this review, we cover. Well, we got case studies. We got bow tie. Let me find that bow tie. Which one is this one? Number two. Nope. This is this one. I'm gonna show you right now. So got you got the uh, what is it? The close down. This is what everybody asks. Here goes your case study right here. It says, how can you help prepare someone for the NCLEX PN? Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly the like, I don't know exactly the question. It says, my instructor told me that the guidelines have changed to ABC to CAB. Is that correct? Um, it depends on what the question is asking you. It depends on what the question is asking you, Ashley. But it's still in there. It's still part of it. It's like, OK, is it an airway? Is it a breathing? Is it a circulation issue? It honestly, it just depends on what the question is asking you. All right. It says, did you say five or five thirty Monday, Wednesday, Friday, five thirty, five thirty central standard time. So also. So here we go. Uh, what is this? This is a, a case study where we go into here's a, a multiple choice. Select all that apply the close down the uh, what is this one? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, anticipation versus not anticipated. I'm pretty sure that looks familiar to most people. Right. So that's the biggest thing that you get. You get a review. You also get it forever. You get it forever. Like you have access to it forever. Like that is my like gift to essentially anybody that wants to have it. And you get all of the updates. So whatever other pieces of content I put in there, you get. You know, it's not on a subscription. It's not on anything like that. At least not now. It's not. What helped you with med surge uh, studying and study groups? That's what helped me. All right. So, Karen, hopefully that answered your question. If anybody's interested uh, in the seven day NCLEX course, you guys can check that out. That is uh, at the bootnurse.com slash special. And those links are also in my bio. You guys can check that out as well. So a little bit about me. Uh, Karen, you're very welcome. Is it Karen Sita? Karen, like like Mama Sita, but Karen Sita? Yeah. All right. Cool. Never mind. How much? Uh, Ninety seven dollars. It's ninety seven dollars one time. You pay for it one time and it's yours. Um, and that link, those links are in my bio. You can go and check that out. Okay. So a little, like I said, a little bit about me. Hey, yo, I felt my NCLEX three times, three, three times. Um, and before I go on with that, somebody asked me about how do I help LPNs? I help LPNs the same exact way that I help RNs, right? We go, you talk about content, you talk about Q and a, you understand what they're asking you in the question, have accountability, time management, study schedule. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, we do that as well. So there's that. I literally quit nursing because I didn't want to take the NCLEX. Then, then what? Because you didn't want to take it. Like, I don't even know. I don't even I don't know how to respond to that. I mean, I do, but it's not going to be a response that most people aren't going to like. Can I skip LPN and go right to RN? You sure you you can I wouldn't say skip. You can just not do L. You can go straight into an RN program if that's your answer. Yes. How many hours daily uh, do you need to complete the seven day NCLEX? So the seven day NCLEX course is self-paced. It's self-paced. And so when everything is said and done, when it's all in there, all I'm saying is, hey, 
all of my videos are less than an, are less than 30 minutes. Is the NCLEX different in every state? No, the NCLEX is a national test and it is it is it is a national test, a national standard. So all of those questions anybody can get in all in all 50 states. Oh, and also in Canada. So it says, uh, is your is this for uh, RN and LPN your link? Yes, you can. It's for both RNs and LPNs. If you go and you look at the link and it says seven day NCLEX course and you read the website, it says that it's both for RNs and LPNs. Remember, with RNs and LPNs, you guys, we learn the same content. The biggest thing that's different is understanding what you can and can't do and what you can and cannot accept as an LPN. Everything else, relatively the same. Like as an LPN, you know that you can't do IV medications. Can't do it. You can't do blood. Can't do it. You can't have unstable patients. Can't do it. It says... Um, it says take take best review class, uh, continuously review Lipping Cotton Barons review, review uh deeply anything. I, I tried to read books and I, I couldn't do all that. And any advice for international nurses? Uh the same advice that I gave that I gave somebody else is it depends on like a lot of things for international nurses is that they'll have a, the biggest thing is like a language barrier. It's not the knowledge, it's just you know the language of what these of what specific words mean. So um I would definitely hone in on that of understanding what those words mean. Um, and same thing, study schedule, uh, uh, what study schedule, time management, accountability, you know, material, all that good jazz. Uh, can't be, uh, can't be the first, which mean, I said, what's the scope of practice for an LPN compared to an RN bing bong oh, in America. So it's all about delegation, uh, 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 primary assessments. And it's about the, the a level of knowledge that you get in regards to school. So it's like research, um, and, 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 uh, and just a whole bunch and medical administration, so on and so forth. So that's the, that's the biggest scope of practice. The biggest thing is the understanding more of the why than the technical how of how to like do specific things. Can you finish your thought from earlier? Something about, uh, 86 questions, Matt, Ma is it Massey? I got you. Is Archer best for RN? Archer is good. I wouldn't say it's the best, but some people like it. I like Archer. Uh, so, so the LPN works under the delegate, under the delegate. Yes. Yes. The, uh, yes, correct. You are correct. Bing bong. Uh, LPN can't be the first or eat, educate. There you go. There you go. Uh, who said that it was, it was at Massey. Oh, so I felt when I said I failed my NCLEX. Oh no, we were talking about questions. So if you get, there's 85 questions on the, I'm sorry, you have a minimum of 85 questions on the NCLEX. If you get to question 86, take a deep breath, close your eyes and say that I still got this because of what a lot of people will do. What a lot of people will do is that they'll be like, Oh my God, I got to question 86 and I failed. No, that's not it. That's not it at all. If anything, the exam's trying to give you more time and more questions to see how much better that you can do. All right. So don't get psyched out by the fact that you get to 85 questions. That's why when I tell my students that I coach, I tell them, hey, you need to be studying 85 to 150 questions every other day. That way, when you get to question 86 on your exam, you're not going to you're going to be like you've already practiced that way. All right. Let me see. Uh, is UWorld better than Archer? I personally didn't like UWorld. I liked Archer better, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily matter what I think. I can tell you like, hey, it's better. And you'd be like, hey, you recommended that. And it was trash. And I was like, you know, it, in the end, all of these reviews, for the most part, are pretty good. It's all about you. It's all about you. All right. It says, uh, is it Awar? Awar, what's the best app to buy for NCLEX? Mine, seven day NCLEX course. Check it out. Um, RN NCLEX. It says, what's the, what's the best study program to study for RN NCLEX between Kaplan, U World, Hearst right now? Um, uh, all of them are good. I really can't tell you because I've, I've used all three of them. I personally, if me personally, I liked Kaplan. Uh, I feel my, inc I feel my LPN. So I'm now studying for it again. Any advice? So you need to go to your, your, your performance breakdown and you need to see where you have don't passes or, um, uh, below passing. You need to start studying those first. Mass, you're good. Massey, you're good. LPN, not allowed to hang blood, not allowed to do initial assessment of patient back uh, in the day. No, they don't do that. They can't do that either. Can't hang blood. Can't do it. Can't do initial assessment. Still, you still can't do it. Um, recommendation for chemistry prereq. Khan Academy. I like Khan Academy a lot when I was in prereqs. All prereq, I like for AMP one and two, nutrition, everything you can think about. Khan Academy on YouTube was good stuff. But shout out to everybody that's in here rolling with me. Uh, hey, y'all, we had 1.4 thousand, 1.4 K people that were in there looking at that review. Like, it was great. Like, that's the most I ever had. And I appreciate everybody that's been sharing, liking. I loved every bit of it. Uh, what is the tease? So the tease is an entrance exam. 
uh, where to study RN exam case study uh, in GN. Are you asking where? Uh, I mean, they have them. They have them everywhere. You can Google free. You can Google free ones. Or I have actually a review. Uh, it's like a four hour review broken up into eight sections. Each each video is 30 minutes long because who wants to sit there for hours reading, reading something. But I actually we break the question down. We go through them together and we talk about them, talk about rationales, talk about why they're correct, why they're incorrect. So that's what's in the seven day NCLEX course is the new generation NCLEX review. I have one of those as well. It said midwifery and peds are not covered in Australian RN. Uh, course, uh, do you have any suggestions for studying? Also, you're from Australia. Okay, that makes sense. Shout out to my Aussie, my Aussie brothers and sisters. Um, I have some friends that live out there. Um, my advice would be to, I mean, it, Carrie, it ain't honestly, it ain't nothing that YouTube that YouTube can't show you. Um, I think Osmosis is a really good YouTube channel that has some stuff like that as well. Also, I'm working on my late my a bunch of my content right now. Right now, I'm working on cardiology, and that section is going to be up here pretty sh- uh, pretty sh- uh, pretty soon. Uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but why is there so much divide between R? It's because of the co- it's because of the titles and the culture. Um, it's just honestly, it's weird on how the culture has developed that way, and it's actually really sad. I really wish I could tell you. And honestly, it's all about scope, like. LPNs are just like, I'm a nurse too. Yeah, you are a nurse, but you don't have the scope of practice legally that an RN has. And so there's a lot of headbutting because you'll see LPN saying like, oh, she's stupid. He's stupid, blah, blah, because he's an RN. I'm better than him. And then the RNs are just like, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, it's just, it's honestly, it's a dick measuring contest between men and women. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest. It's just like... I do this and I do this rather than everybody just trying to let go of their egos. It's an ego thing. Let go of their egos and then working together. What unit you work on now? Uh, OR. Yes, your energy is awesome. I appreciate that. I bring this energy all the time. Even with my one-on-one coaching, some people will be like, wow, you're the same exactly how I saw you in live. Yep. Tip for maternity and infants. Um, oh, what's a good one? What's a good one? It's a YouTube channel. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. Uh, recommendations for LPN online schools. I really wish I could tell you because I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know any good online LPN schools. That ain't nothing that a quick Google search can't show you for sure. How long should you study for the NCLEX? Um, you should give yourself. It depends. It really, really does. It really depends. If you're in school, you should be studying now, or you should have been studying at least a month ago. But on average, my my humble opinion: thirty days, but no longer, no longer than ninety days. That's for good times. Uh, Carrie, you're very welcome. Okay, thanks. Is there any discount for those of us financially strapped? There is not. There is not. However, you never know. Check out check out what I have going on. Check out the free download that I have. That could be super helpful as well. Um, and so, and I'll be, and I'm going to start sending out emails this weekend and all other good stuff, so you guys can, uh, you guys can see what I have going on. Or if there's any discounts or stuff that pop up, uh, I enrolled in boot camp because they have a three month free trial for NCLEX review for me. It's good so far. Shout out to you. Uh, thank you. Recommendations. Okay. I already answered that question. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Hey, like I said, appreciate everybody rocking with me. Uh, ICU or CTIC. You talking about me? I worked in the CTIC. Oh, I'm sorry. I worked in the, uh, I worked in a burn ICU, a medical, and I floated to neuro. So I worked in three different ICUs at one point. Um, well one, it was ICU the burn ICU. And then at another point I worked in uh, the, the two other ones. So you guys can definitely check that out. Uh, I scheduled my RNA clicks uh, at the end of this month and I've taken it and I've taken it before. OK, I got you. So this is your second time taking it. I'll check out your stuff. OK, cool. I appreciate that. So like I said, you guys can go check that out. Those links are in my bio. How long have I been an RN? I've been an RN for three and a half years. Uh, I've been in the medical field altogether 16 years uh, hospital corpsman slash LPN because that's what that's what we're considered in the Navy. Uh, but then I became a surgical tech, been a surgical tech for Oh, 13 years um, became a, and then I became an instructor. So my last like seven to eight years and then in the military have been as a master instructor in the Navy teaching surgical technology. Uh, I taught a pre-hospital trauma, burn life support, ACLS. Uh, I am now a trauma nurse instructor. So I've been teaching for quite some time um, and just like within the medical realm. And uh, I thoroughly enjoy it. This is another reason why I get up on here and I, uh, I do these questions for y'all. I do the questions. So, you know, that's why I say, hey, go over there and check out those free downloads on my website. Go over there and check, you know, go check those things out. You know what I'm saying? The world is full of information. The world is full of information. My goal is to get you from point A to point B. 
without all of with all, all of the confusion because a lot of people ask me what about you uh, what about youtube i was like bro you can go to youtube it doesn't hurt my feelings you can go to youtube you can do what you can essentially do whatever you want you know what i mean so i want to know who and we got like 150 people in here and i appreciate everybody rocking so i want to know who everybody is if you're new here or, or, or am i late oh lenny what you mean or are you late wait did you say something earlier what do you mean? Hey, so I want to know who you are, where you're from, where you're at in your nursing journey. And if you're not a nurse and what you got, what you got for me, like what you're doing here. Also, also, um, what do you do? Like if you're if you're not a nurse, it says I love these lives. Part of being a nurse is continuous learning. Great to keep. Exactly. And I can tell you right now, I'm not the sharpest tool in the toolbox. That's number one. I'll be completely honest with you. I mean, I'm pretty smart, but it's not the sharpest one. Right. Sometimes you got to you, know, you got to sharpen it up. Um, and then some of these, like some of these, I don't even, I don't even remember. And so as I'm going through it, I'm like, all right, bet. Let me see. Let me see if I remember this. And then the majority of the time I'm getting them right too. And if you get them wrong, that's okay. I have no problem telling you that I got something wrong. None whatsoever. None. It says I'm an MSN, acute care nurse practitioner in the ICU and uh, hematology and oncology. Shout out to you, mom of six, wife nurse. Lord of mercy. That's a long name. <laughs> Shout out to you, a new grad right now, getting ready uh, for NCLEX in Detroit. Shout out to you ophthalmology nurse in the UK training to be a nurse practitioner. Okay. Is it P Bay? You, Hey, let me tell you something about you. You British, you, 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 you United Kingdom folks. So in your accents, I love them. They're great. You guys are awesome. Uh, Jessica, I uh, just started this journey. Shout out to you. CNA LPN RN. Okay. Now you're doing psych in miss in Mississippi. Okay. Shout out to you. High school senior trying to choose where to start my BSN Mary or Marie. It doesn't matter. It does not matter what school you go to. Find you a school that's accredited and get your ass in school. All right. The whole the, uh, this. Here's another thing, too. People are like, oh, my God, I have to go to this school. No, you know, you don't No, you don't. Nobody's ever going to ask you anything about what school you went to. They want to know if you're if you have a license and if the school that you went to was accredited. So stop playing games. Figure out what school you want to go to. Don't try to be prestigious and like, oh, my God, I got to go to Duke or I got to go to Yale or I got to go wherever. Find you a good school and just go. Find you a good school. I said love from the Caribbean. Shout out to you. Hey, I, I I was in Cuba. I was in Guantanamo Bay for a long time at one point. Not 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 as glorious as people think it is, but I was in the Caribbean for a little bit. So shout out to you, Kaylee. Shout out to you. Is like I work in the lab. Oh, so you're so you're that person that be telling me that my blood is hemolyzed. Not a fan, sir. <laughs> no, I appreciate you. Uh, I'm Sarah. I live in NY. I'm a CNA nursing home graduate nursing school. Shout out to you. Is it Granada? Granada. OK. All right. Uh, Trinidad. OK. All right. Uh, Alberta, Canada, now uh, processing the conversion. RN. Okay, shout out to you, Miss Mary. Uh, I listen to Keep Up. Okay, uh, you forget things and you've uh, been in practice. I listen to RN. Hey, look, I'm trying to tell you, let them know. Let them know, Miss Mom of Six. Let them know. Because people, when you people get on here, they expect for you to know everything. Look, you know how many times I had to break out my phone and be like, let, let me look on up to date and remember that medication? It says, we put it in the hemolyzers. The lies you tell. The lies. Uh, do you remember maternity and infant YouTube channel? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Um, I would try simple nursing. Try simple nursing or osmosis. Osmosis is a good one, too. All right. But hey, shout out to everybody. I appreciate everybody. Be hey, so we do NCLEX questions, you know, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 530. Uh, I do these all. The, I do these all the time. And you know why I do these is because I wish that somebody was here for me when that I needed it. Right. And, 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 you know, TikTok really, it wasn't a thing. I think it was musically back in the day. Um, and it didn't do stuff like this. And then again, I didn't even find stuff like this, even on Instagram. You know what I mean? So one thing I'm saying is that I enjoy doing this for other people because I'm an instructor and I have actually applied to go work in academia as an adjunct instructor at multiple places with the qualifications that I have, especially the military stuff. And nobody's called me back. So I took it upon myself and I brought it here where I get more interaction and more feedback from y'all than I ever would from somebody in academia. You know what I mean? So, which is harder, ATI or HESI? They're both hard. It just depends. I personally thought, I, th I thought HESI, I, I didn't like HESI at all. But you have people that swear by it. I failed my NCLEX twice, all at 150. So I failed three times. Day, I failed three times. 75 questions, 265 questions, and then at 106 questions, then I pass at 60. Hope to buy your NCLEX course. Buy it. Go get it right now. Go get it right now. Sorry if you guys hear my son. He's, you know, I'm scared. I've bought so much shit. Listen, I'm I'm not. And I'm not saying this is because it's mine. I'm telling you, I have spent a total of three thousand dollars from other people's reviews. 
to the Board of Nursing to Pearson View total. I've spent so much money. So you're scared. Let me ask you this question, Day, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. So you're scared of buying something, even if it's not mine. You're scared of buying something because you're spending too much money, but you would rather not find something that works for you so you can not have to do it anymore. That way you can go get your license. You can go work. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. It's just like you can't you have to change. I can't I can't tell you what you have to do, but I'm going to suggest to you that the one thing that you have to do inside of that brain of yours is that you have to reallocate what you're doing. You People talk about buying. What about investing? What about investing in something? You know what I mean? So think about that. Good time. Like, I spent over three thousand dollars on a tutor and testing and buying Kaplan. It's crazy. So, yeah, I had a tutor. I had a mentor. I had a tutor and I had a mentor. And let me tell you something right now. I don't regret it because you want to know what? That's one thing I don't got to think about. It's literally one thing I don't have to think about because now I have a license. And now, you know, all I do, all I do is continuing at educations every two years, submitted to the board of nursing. And I have a license until I decide not to do it or retire my, my license. Uh, any tips for new grads and get ready to work in the hospital? Uh, I'll answer your, hold on one second. It says, I, I'm just scared to retest. If you're scared to retest, then now it's your, now it is your time to properly study for it. It says, like, don't give up and don't give up. It says, I failed four times LVN. Now I'm in my fourth semester for RN. Don't give up. Steph, let her know. Keep going, investing yourself. That's what I'm saying. Yes, it's an investment, whatever it takes to pass. That's what I'm talking about. Now, when I tell you about investing, when I tell you about investing, it doesn't mean that somebody come into your DM and be like, hey, I can help you pass the NCLEX, you know, send me twenty five hundred dollars. So I, you know, because I can send you the answers or I can go and find your test and blah, blah, blah. No, 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 man. That is a scam. And please don't do that. I've had people come to me and say, how does your program work? I got scammed. I was like, you got scammed because you're fucking stupid. Like, don't come at me and tell me that I'm a scam when you tried to fuck yourself by the system. And then you got and then you got screwed. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. All right. It doesn't matter how many times you take it. Get there as long as you get there. Facts. And the NCLEX is hard. The NCLEX is hard. It's not meant to be easy. These things are put into place to keep people out. That's what it's for. People are just like, why is it so hard to get in? Inc- why is it so hard to get into a to, to nursing school? It's because I don't want some turd coming into my program and then and then messing all my stuff up. Why am I cussing? It's just my nature. Sorry. It's my nature to curse. So if everybody if everybody could do it, it would be easy for everyone. It would be easy. It would be very easy. Right? But the thing about it is like you do those and you put those those barriers up so it keeps people out. That's why. And if it was meant, if it was easy, everybody would do it. I mean, day, I want you to think about this. Look, think about the person, think about the person you were in high school with, like the, 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 somebody that's a goofball. And then they were just like, hey, I'm gonna go be a nurse. And then you over there trying to be a nurse. You're like, nah, this dude used to chew on rocks. Like why? You know what I mean? And they like, and they just let him in there. Like why? You know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying it's very important. It's like those things are put into place to keep people out. The entrance exam, the prerequisites. And then when you get through school, that's why it's hard. And then when you get to NCLEX, that's why those things are there. You know what I mean? So at this point in your life, and I do I do nurse coaching. I do nurse coaching as well, right? I bring my military career into the nursing field to show you that, yo, you can do anything out here. And I'll start using military analogies and people be like, yo, that makes so much sense. You know what I mean? So you have to invest in yourself. I spent $3,000. That was a very big investment for me to learn what I didn't comprehend while I was in school in order for me to conquer this exam. And that's facts. And you, and I'm telling you, you can go to my website and I talk about it. You can go to my YouTube channel and I talk about it. And somebody asked me, what separates you from other reviews? Let me, and then I asked them, I was just like, have you ever been on a live and you could talk to the person who runs their review? You know what I mean? Have you ever been on a live and then the person that runs their review or has a program, do they actively tell you that they failed an exam? And do they actively tell you like, hey, it's okay," and that no one cares, get out of your own head because only thing that matters is you auditing yourself and then pushing forward. No one else does that. That that, that I know of. And if they do, please point me in that direction so I can shake their hand because I'm all about I'm all about learning that way. You know what I mean? So you have to get out of your own head. You have to get out of your own head. I'm trying to catch up on these on these things. It says, 
Uh, I'm in my first semester. Have you tried the NCLEX trivia card game from Amazon? I have not. I'm not a really big trivia card game individual. That's another thing, too. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm focusing on day right now. As a matter of fact, day, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Because you can come on, you know, you can come on to the live right now. And by the way, this is the first time you're doing this. So don't come on here and embarrass me. You're at work. Mm, that's too bad. I was going to bring you on here. and We could talk about it. But as a tech, you tech and where? Like a patient care tech? ER tech. Oh, y'all probably busy up in there. All right. Never mind. Let me leave you alone. Let me leave you alone. I was going to bring you on here because I wanted you to I wanted you to kind of explain it to me. And I would have been, hey, I'm going to start doing this, too. I'm going to start probably bringing some onesies and twosies on here. So that way, essentially, you got to think about it like, uh, you know, call it like coaching, like live coaching on the spot. You know, we kind of call it that. So uh, time and refocus. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Look, I had to actually print out a calendar and write what I was going to do every single day because I'm that, that's how I kind of remember. I had to realize that what type of learner I am. You're auditory, kinesthetic, visual. Are you a read write? Are you a little bit of both? Right. They have another thing that's called passive listening. Right. So I would literally put a mark. I would put an audio on and I would fall asleep to it. You know, there's all different types. Of, there's all different types of ways. That's how that's how I do it to hit my goals. Exactly. Exactly. Write them down. Y'all see that board back there? Y'all see this board? That's my brain on essentially on a piece of paper. And I have to write it down to hold myself accountable because I walk past it every day. And when I walk past it, I'm just like, all right, cool. I know I need to do that. OK, cool. I know I need to do that. Like there's stuff up there. It says, hey, uh, edit these videos and get them in the course. I'm editing those videos and they're going to be up in the course. There's going to be a, a good amount of videos that are uh, or uh, probably I think two or three that are going to go up today. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying is like it's important for you to understand when you're taking your NCLEX or more likely when you fail it or I'm sorry, not more likely, but if you fail it. Figuring out what you didn't do from your course breakdown or from your performance sheet. Improving upon those areas and then pushing forward. OK, I like to say get off the beach. If anybody understands that reference, I want you guys to put it down in the chat. Get off the beach. Right. Um, I started listening to reviews as so. There you go. As soon as I started school. And that's the thing I try to tell people as well. Um, so it's like, yes, they gave us a performance sheet. I don't know how to use it. Mm. It says, uh, I don't know what it means. So get off the beach during World War Two. Anybody remember the Battle of Normandy? Now, I know you don't remember, but I'm pretty sure everybody heard about the Battle of Normandy. Right. An LPN student. It's a, uh, I'm an LPN or an LP nurse student. And it's hard. It is hard. School nursing school is not meant to be easy. Right. I am in school right now. And these reviews are amazing. Miss Samantha, I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming to the review and, uh, and letting me know that because I wouldn't do these. If nobody if nobody didn't like them. So uh, it says you may not understand it at the beginning, but you will eventually facts. You sure will. And that's another thing, too. People need to realize is that you're not. There's a thing that's called imposter syndrome. You go through it through school and you go through it as a nurse. When you become a nurse practitioner, you're going to go through it, too. When it all those new stages in life, you're going to come to them. Like I'll ask mom of six. How'd you feel when you first became how did you feel when you first became a mom? You're like, oh, my God, can I do this? And then by the time you had number two, three, you're like, I'm, you know, like I know better. And then by the time you had number six, you're like an expert mom, like on, on, on auto mode. You know what I mean? So it's the same exact thing will come once you start learning as a nurse is that even if you take your boards and you are unsuccessful, you have more experience now and practice. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, where do you get practice questions for nursing school? You can go to nurseslabs.com. They have free practice questions over there. Uh, I feel no knowledge in my mind. What do you mean you feel no knowledge in your mind? Samantha, no, seriously, this helps so much. It's awesome to see that you know that, you know, as a student, because I used to be a student like the thing that trips me out is other nurses forget the fact that they used to be in that position. You forgot that a whole year and a half, two years ago, uh, 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 Susie, I have flushes in my pocket like you forgot that you used to be a student. And now all of a sudden you too good to help a student get out of here, bro. Like get out of my face. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand that. And I never could understand that. It says uh, it's just so hard to study because you don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're going to get on the NCLEX. That's why. So here's the thing. It's not about it's not about memorization. It is about being familiar. The NCLEX is based off of a, of, a, of, a, of a four area type of pyramid. Right. It's like remembering memorization and then application or analysis and application. Right. Those last two analysis and application. That is what the NCLEX wants, because it allows for you to use critical thinking to apply your critical thinking and analyze that way you can make a clinical judgment. That's what the NCLEX wants, 
right? I don't need for you to tell me what the cranial nerves are. I need for you to know what the cranial nerves are. That way, when I drop a scenario, you know that, oh, that's cranial nerve, whatever. Okay. That has to do with airway and breathing. Okay. That's an aspiration issue. Okay. I want to give oxygen. You see how I did that? That's how you want to do that. I just found out I got accepted in nursing school a few days ago. Shout out to you, Drew. I know you're going to go out there and do great things. Like it's impossible to know everything. You're not meant day. You're not meant to know everything. Expert to novice. The cycle keeps going. Always learning. Always. Either way, it's a blessing. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. I appreciate you. It says reading and writing, uh, studying. Uh, but when I had answer, I am unable or I am able to answer correctly. Hmm. It says, do you have a study guide? I do have a study guide. Check that link out in my bio. It's labeled the NCLEX Victory Guide. It says nurses eat their young new grads. Mentor and support are the key to keep new nurses in the field. That is very true. And here's the thing. I ner- I mentor all the time. I, I mentor and I precept. And I tell people, they're just like, hey, do you like your job? I was like, I enjoy it. They'd be like, what would you do if you couldn't do it? I was just like, oh, I would do a work from home job. And they're just like, you can do that. And I'm like, come here, young Padawan, and let me show you what's up. Just because you're an RN, just because you're an LPN, just because you're a nurse practitioner doesn't mean that you have to do patient care. You can do things outside of that. And I'm saying nurse practitioner because mom of six is here and she knows what the deal is. So it says, but man, the select all the, hey, select all the applies are the devil. However, they are partial credit now. Yeah, they get partial credit. Yep. Uh, that's why I'm so nervous about entering as a new grad. Don't be nervous. Here's the thing. You can't be nervous. I'm sorry. You can be nervous. And I understand that. But everyone goes through that process, Kaylee. Everybody goes, my man, Jay, what is the deal, sir? You missed it. We had 1.4K people up in here and you wasn't one of them. And I'm disappointed in you, bro. I'm disappointed in you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm disappointed. No, I'm just playing. I appreciate you, brother, for being here. Shout out to all 108 people up in here. Hey, or, hey earlier we did NCLEX questions. We do them every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 530 Central Standard Time. Central Standard Time. All right. Because that's the only time, you know, that's the only time that matters because it's Texas time. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hey, shout out to everybody. Uh, yeah. So shout out to everybody. Uh, who decided to uh, to jump onto the live? He said, "I apologize. Where where, where ICU has me? Hey, I be I, I believe you, bro. I believe you. I believe you for sure. So no worries, no worries. What other questions do you guys have? What other questions do you guys have before uh, before I get up <clears throat> before I get up off here? Before I get up off here. So little uh, little uh, 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 plug. If anybody, hey, I have a free download that's up here, right? You guys go check that link out in my bio." And it's uh it's test taking strategies, test taking strategies, right? It says I'm having trouble getting to the bio. So the bio is right up here. You just click the name and then in the bio, you'll see a link there and they'll say link tree and it'll take you directly there. It says, how long do you think it's good to study uh, for NCLEX the third attempt? So at this point, if it's your third attempt, um, you're probably having um, not imposter syndrome. I would think when I studied, I gave myself like 60 days. And it was, and I had myself on a schedule. Like I knew what I was doing every day, even around work, even around work, right? Even around work. Uh, it says, can you talk a little bit more about your studies, your study guide, uh, what it consists of? Okay. As a matter, how about this? How about I just, is it Sarah? Good times W Sarah. How about I just show you? You don't see the link tree. I don't understand how the link. So the link is in, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause I keep getting that. I keep getting people always telling me that, but I like I literally saw the link before I even got on. So, so let's see what the deal is. Um, but I'll show you what the I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, it says, "Hey man, I passed my collection for the third time, uh, or third try. You got this. Shout out." So yeah, so the link tree is there. Like if you go to the bio, it'll be a picture of me and my scrubs with my fanny pack because I'm cool like that. Um, and then right at the bottom where it 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 has the link. It's a clickable link. So. I don't know exactly uh, what you guys are looking at, but it is definitely there. One hundred percent. It's definitely there. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, Sarah. So, yeah, Sarah is asking uh, what it looks like. So uh, I'm going to show you right now. I'll show you right now. And I'm going to try to make this small enough to where um, to where, you know, you can see it. All right. The ebook is twenty nine dollars. And you get and you get all the updates. So when I when I if I when I do a revision to this or if I add something to it, everybody that has bought the uh, has bought the ebook will get an email with an with the updated download. So that way you don't ever have to worry about it. Uh, it says you have to click on his name twice to get to his page. There you go, Vina. There you go. Uh, hold on. Let me go back. All right. 
So this is four. Let me see if you guys can see this. I'm going to turn this around. All right. So there's my beautiful face right there. Once again, I don't know why my colors are saturated like that. I think it just might be because of the camera. But it says study tips. Don't it says don't don't study just one uh, pick or review two to three each are differently. Eh, I would definitely say not more than two, but I would agree. I would agree. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So, but yeah, so here's, this is essentially the table of content telling you like what's on what's paid on what is on what page we go over arterial blood gas interpretations, talk about, you know, the different ones. And then, Hey, here's a problem based off of this. And it tells you the interpretation, right? So that's ABGs. And then we go through, let's see. So that's ABGs. That's like, and then we talk about acute glomerular nephritis, right? The pathophysiology behind it, clinical manifestations, your findings, management, pharmacology, nutrition, the nursing management, talk about chronic. So that's that's a big one. Also, I have some nursing delegation questions in here. Uh, we also talk about, hey, understanding the stages of play. You know, those are important as well. Uh, we got analgesics, right? So now there's a bit, there's big portions of pharmacology that's in here, right? Acetaminophen, aspirin, you know, your non, uh, your common non-opiate NSAIDs. So like ibuprofen, naproxen, you know, uh, Mobic, Toradol, how important those are, right? Uh, what else? Got opioid analgesic. Like we go through a whole bunch of them, right? And like I said, you have every single one of these. Also, I'm actually working on an audio book for all of this too. So that way, if you're driving to work, or if, yeah, if you're driving to work or doing anything like that, like if you have a 30 minute commute to work, then you get to listen to my gorgeous voice as I talk. <laughs> that is what's concerning me. Kaylee, what's concerning you? What's up? What, what is concerning you? Talk to me. Kaylee, what are you doing right now? Are you at work too? Talk to me. Tell me what's up. It says, yes, that would be great. Love audio. Hey, so that's coming. That's coming. Like I'm working on doing the audio right now. Um, uh, but it won't necessarily, it'll be probably something separate. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'll do with it, but the audio is coming. I get, I promise you it is coming because I definitely want to get that out there because I realized when I used to drive to work 30, 30, 35 minutes, I loved listening to just YouTube channel. I'm a big podcaster. So, and then here, what else we got? So, uh, talk about diabetes management, the different diabetic medications, right? Talk about antibiotics and uh, anti-infectives and antivirals, which are huge. I'm studying for my finals level three. So close to finish line. Yep, you sure are. Uh, appreciate you showing these. Very cool. Yes. Yes, ma'am. You are very welcome. So look, amino glycosides, right? Cephalosporins. We talk about the first all the way to fourth generation, what they are, right? Macrolides, penicillins, uh, fluoroquinolones, you know, sulfur drugs, tetracyclines, all that good jazz, right? And this is all, this is for uh, pharmacology, but we got some other ones that are going on here as well. Asthma. Anybody got asthma, right? So talking about like, uh, like Mike Tyson style. It's a studying for my final two. I'm in my first semester and, uh, shout out to you. Shout out to you first. Hey, Anna, let everybody know how first semester and how, how it humbled you. Did it humble you? Hey, we talk about cancer pain meds too, right? This is just something a little extra that I threw up in there, but it, hey, those cancer meds, hey, they can, hey, they can, re they can really do a number. Hey, we talk about cardiac arrhythmias. Right. Talk about cardiac arrhythmias. So what sinus rhythm looks like, what V V fib looks like, V flutter, V tack, right? V fib, right? Junctional rhythms, right? For your your heart blocks, right? Bundle branch blocks, pre PVCs, PACs, uh, SVTs, all that stuff. Uh, like what is it? Long QT syndrome, Wolf Parkinson. Hey, let me tell you something. If anybody at, if the tests start asking you about Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, I'm telling you right now, that's a hard. This is a hard question. If they ask you that, you listen to me when I tell you that's a hard question. If they ask you that. All right. So definitely. And if they ask you about the 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 Brigada, that's a hard question, too. Like if it starts coming to like, you know, EKG interpretation. Right. Hey, the ones that you need to know a systole. Right. A systole. Uh, uh, VFib, VTAC, AFib, A Flutter, uh, SVT, PVCs. Like, you know, those, those are, the, you need to know what everybody knows, right? And talk about cardiac medications, right? Digoxin, right? What else we got on here? Got some good, got some nitroglycerin, right? Got uh, a Tanolol, your LOLs, your beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, you know, your ACE inhibitors, your, uh, your, uh, your ARBs. You know, all the, it says how to prepare for med surge and mental health. Uh, I would re I would recommend I would recommend that you um, what's what I'm looking for. I would recommend that you uh, get into a study group 
of four people, you and four and three other people and divide all the studying up and then bring it all together. It says asthma, not CCB. What? Asthma. Right. And we talk about central lines. This is more for nurses. Right. This is more for RNs. This is more for RNs, not for LPNs. However, however, it's not there's nothing wrong with you getting that additional knowledge. Right. And that's why I put it in here. There's over 780 pages, y'all. Seven, like 782. Right. 782 pages. Right. Talk about uh, what is it? A uh, chronic arterial and uh, versus a uh, chronic uh, venous. Right. Insufficiencies. Right. Talk about like why those happen. CNS, CNS stimulants and CNS depressants. Right. No calcium channel blockers is for my. Oh, oh, I'm tracking. I got you. I got you. I was like, wait, what? It says med search for dummies books helped me tremendously. Hey, if it helps, it helps. This is another reason why I create. This is another reason why I created um, this book is because you'll have it. You'll have it on your person. You can do whatever you can do, whatever you need to do. Right. And so I, I believe it's like, hey, I want to try to hit those people that, hey, if you're a reader and you want to sit here on your iPad or your or your uh, what's that other thing called? Um, you know, the Microsoft Surface Pro and you want to sit here and scroll through, you surely can. Right. Look, hey, 12 ways to remember, you know, 12 uh, are the great ways to remember cranial nerves. Right. What is this like uh, on old Olympus towering uh, tops, a French and German viewed uh, some hops. Hey, I have some I have another one, but it is very inappropriate. And I'm not going to share that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Talks about all the way from one to 12. Gives you different little pictures sometimes, right? And how it's laid out. I'm actually pretty proud of how this kind of laid out. So talk about crutches, canes, and walkers. You know what I'm saying? Crutches, canes, and walkers. Right? Super. This is uh, has to do with safety. You know what I mean? So uh, that's a good one too. Hey, prioritization and delegation. I, I In the middle of it, I didn't want to put it at the end. I kind of just did it like alphabetically, right? Delegation, priority, and management type of questions. Remember, management of care and coordinated care is the largest section on the NCLEX. The largest one at 18 to 23%. And, I, and I'm right off the top of my head, I can't remember what coordinated care is, but it is the largest section, right? So, you know, we go through questions, right? And then there's your answer. Question, answers. There's 50 of these, by the way. Look, boom. So 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Boom. Talk about derm, talk about derm meds, antibacterials, antifungals, more about antivirals, uh, anti, was it a uh, corticoid, topical corticoids, right? Right. We got a whole bunch on here. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Look, we talk about once, hey, you can never forget. Well, we got uh, uh, fraud, uh, Freed's, right? Erickson's, right? Piaget. Right. We talk about uh, uh, the growth and development within our within our uh, within, uh, you know, humans, us. Right. Diuretic medications, furosemide, loop diuretics, right. Osmotic diuretics, uh, case sparing, th uh, th uh, thiazides, dosage calculation. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. You already know what the deal is. Right. Talk about thyroid and pituitary issues. Right. Talk about those drugs that are given for that. Also, uh, what happens, you know, after those surgical procedures. Talk about fire safety, because this is one that you'll actually get. In my opinion, it should be a gimme. Right. Hey, if there's a fire that's happening, what do you do? I don't know. Turn on the oxygen. No, we don't do that. You're trying to blow everybody up. That's insane. Don't do that. Right. So we talk about fire safety. Right. Incle fire safety on the NCLEX exam. Your five rights of delegation. They don't go away. They don't go away. Trust and believe me when I tell you that they're there. GI disorders. Right. GI disorders, like all these things that are in here, y'all, the GI medications, you know, like well, uh, our proton, our proton pump inhibitors. Right. Notice how they all I don't know if you guys can see that, but they all have the ending of A-Z-O-L-E, Azole. Right. They all have the last ending of Azole. Right. These things are super important. And like I said, anti-diarrheals, what anticholinergics. What else we got on here? And uh, laxative meds. Uh, what else? What else? What else we got on here? Uh, anti-emetics and anti-nausea medications. Like, look, we cut, we cut, baby, baby, we cover it all. We cover it all. Where can I get this PowerPoint? Um, I don't know your name. Your name looks like a dot or a period. So if you go to the link in my bio, if you go to the link in my bio, it will be there. Okay. So, uh, and it's labeled and I'm actually going to show you guys if I can pull it back up. Oh, here it is. So this is what, when you guys go to the link in my bio, this is what you guys will see. All right. You'll go tap on the link in my bio. Let me see if it takes me there. Yeah. So it'll look like this. Right. And I'll have all those things that are there. And then the link will be right here. Right. And then when you click on that link, it'll take you here. Right. So, hey, you can get a free download. 
that free obviously it's a free download that costs you nothing here's the 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 victory guide that's the ebook that i was just going over and then you have the seven day nclex course and then we have private one-on-one -on -one call where you can talk to me about essentially anything you want or anything that you have going on you know so if you're a, if you're a prereq student and you want to know how to get into nursing school i got you if you're in nursing school and you want to know how to accomplish your way through nursing school and then the nclex i got you ati hesi nclex i got you uh and then this one right here this one is a little bit bigger, but this is a this is a bigger program, essentially, to where you and I have a, a certain amount of sessions to where I help you pass the NCLEX. Kevin, get a podcast. Ma'am, listen, I got so much going on right now. I can't do a podcast. However, a podcast is def is definitely on my uh, my brain board. That's right here behind me. So trust and believe me. Uh, I actually have been on a couple of podcasts. Um, I probably should put those on here. But I, if you guys go to my YouTube channel. I, uh, if you guys go to my YouTube channel, which is at the boot nurse, if you guys can see that up here, I'll see if I can bring this down, but it's at the boot nurse right here, um, on all social medias. Um, I've actually been on a bunch of, 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 of podcasts. Uh, I've been on, uh, what is it? I've been on, uh, some live streams for Picmonic. Um, I've been on, um, understanding the nursing game, uh, uh which is a podcast I've been on nurses talk, which is a podcast. Um, where, where else? As a matter of fact, let's see. I'll show you guys right, right now. I'll show you guys right now. Let's see. And let's go. Let's go. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Right? So, hey, this is my YouTube channel, by the way, guys. I got 1,700 followers. I appreciate y'all. All right. So, let's see. Let's see what I got. Let's see. That way you guys can see. But, yeah, here, here all the, here, here's everything that's on YouTube, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. So I've been on the Brave and Faithful podcast. Right. And that's over there. On, and I did that. What? Uh, earlier this year or last year? I did that one. Uh, what is this one? Oh, that's, that's TikTok. Um, what else? What else? So oh, oh, Nursing Uncensored. I've been on that one. Um, I did uh, How to Be Successful in Nursing School. That was part of Picmonic. Understanding the Nursing Game. Uh, I did that one. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, the Real Talk School of Nursing. I've been on that one. Um, the Brave and Faithful podcast, I've been on that one twice. Uh, I've been on this disgruntled docs, you know, from all my military folks, um, been on that one. And I think that's it. I think that's, I think that's all I've been on. So it says, uh, let me know. I'm always glad to help with ICU heme topics, study case or case studies and reviews, ma'am, where were you at when I was in the ICU? And then I decided to quit because, you know, it was a terrible, terrible, toxic working environment where they put me they put me and everybody else at risk. So I wish you were there. I, I wish I had I wish I had a better. I actually no, I take that back. I had two really great mentors while I was in that three, actually three really great mentors. Uh, the ICU is a damn machine. It is. It is a machine. Right. But here's the thing is that if you're trying to integrate new parts into that machine, the machine that is already running very efficiently should integrate those new parts efficiently so that it, that way it still runs efficiently i need ng and case study help so on in my seven day NCLEX course who is this is it sheila loving miss sheila i'm going to show you something right now don't go away all right i'm going to show you something right now. i'll turn this camera right back around now we were just talking about the seven day NCLEX course right this is the course that i created and i'm still this is my baby my one my one and true love right so here, here it is, right? So inside the seven day NCLEX course, which is, if you go here, let me scroll down. If you go here, sorry if you guys hear my son, but you go, you'll go to the website, right? Which is the seven day NCLEX course. I'm sorry, which is the bootnurse.com slash special. Type, tap on enroll and it'll take you down here, right? Tells you everything that it comes with. New generation NCLEX has, it's, right, we have 55 videos in there right now. You get access to the Facebook page on top of, you get monthly content updates, so on and so on, and you get all the updates, right? Once you're inside, this is where you go. This is what you get right here. So over here, notice that there's all this content, all these content videos that you get. Every video is less than 30 minutes, except for like one of them. So um, talk about the NCLEX, talk about the adaptive testing, all that good jazz, right? Lauren, how much was it? It's $97 and you get it for a lifetime, Miss Lauren. Um, and so down here, I have the new generation NCLEX review. There are eight videos, eight, 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 one less than nine, one more than seven, right? And this is the second one. This is NCLEX, uh, the, the, the review for the second one. Now, to answer your question, Miss Sheila, I'm going to go back. Now, right here is a case study. This right here is a case study. 
And when I, I read it, I read it out to you. I read it out to you. You can pause it at any time, look through it. And then after that, I go and I, we go to a question, right? We go to a question and even based off of, off of the case study, we talk about what is the topic? Like, what is this question? What is out of all this information? What is the main issue? What is the topic? And once I understand what the topic is, I can kind of direct myself on how to narrow where my knowledge is, where I'm going to be focusing my knowledge. If that makes sense. If that makes sense, hey, make sure you guys smash that like button. All right. I made my own Quizlet uh, to quiz myself. You can do that too. You can do that too. And so once we go in here, we talk about, we talk about the questions, right? I read the questions. I read these. And then after that, you'll always see something that'll pop up like this. Let me see if it'll do it. Hold on. So you will see, oh, go back, go back, guy. Let me do it. Hold on one second. I don't know. You got, you'll start to see the, the, the pulsating screen, right? Once you see the pulsating screen, that's telling, that's your indicator that sir, ma'am, whomever you need to pause, right? Hold on a second. I want, I want you to see it. I don't know if it'll let me do it, but it will, that is your indicator to pause and for you to read it or go back and pause it. That way you can see the whole thing. That way you can work it out. And then we're going to go through all the answers, why they are incorrect and then why the correct answer is the correct answer. It says, thank you. Okay. I love that. I need that uh, on how to break it down. Yes. And that's what I talk about. I talk about how to break them down. Look, you have the anticipated versus not anticipated. Like, look, you see that? You see that pause, right? Everybody, I know I'm pretty sure everybody can see that pause. Let me bring this down just a smidge, right? So you guys can, oh man, oh, there we go. So every, that's what it looks like, right? And that's my, that is your indicator. You'll hear me say the same thing after every question. Pause the video, read the question, select your answer, and we'll jump back into it. Now that requires you, if you don't remember what the case study is, just rewind it back, you know, a couple seconds so you can read it. That way you can read it at your own pace. That's a great thing about it being on demand, okay? And then we will go into it. I'll even give you an example here, listen. See if it'll let me do it. Back into it. Anticipated interventions for a client with an acute exacerbation of COPD include initiating antibiotics to treat the suspected underlying respiratory infection that most likely triggered the acute exacerbation. Next, we want to administer IV or corticosteroids to reduce airway inflammation and improve ventilation. We want to provide supplemental oxygen via nasal cannula to improve hypoxia. And we want to administer a bronchodilator nebulizer to open up the airway. A beta antagonist is often administered with an anticholinergic for a synergic effect. An IV fluid bolus is not anticipated for a client with a COPD exacerbation. Rapid administration of IV fluids could lead to pulmonary edema and worsening symptoms. Maintenance fluids, especially if the client has reduced oral intake or excessive insensible losses, can be administered. Coughing should be encouraged in clients with COPD to clear secretions and open the airway. Therefore, a cough suppressant is not anticipated. Question. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody asked me, can, can you do a live going over the new generation? NCLEX? So here's the thing about the new generation NCLEX questions. I can go over them, but what that does it takes up a lot of the screen, number one. Number two, what it takes up, that was, this is great work. Hey, I appreciate that, Sarah. So yeah, so that's what the course looks like. That's what the review does. And that's why I have it on demand because you can go back, you can understand them. You can, and what also, I'm actually adding more courses in here, more classes in here, but I'm doing them a uh, 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 client need category basis. So I have one strictly on management of care where I go over a bunch of questions to include new generation NCLEX questions. Then I go over pharmacology. Then I go over physiological adaptation. And those are coming. Those are coming soon. Kind of like how the, you know, winter is coming. Eventually it comes. But um, hopefully it'll be a lot sooner than, you know, seven seasons or whatever it was, right? So those are definitely coming, all right? So hopefully, hopefully that brought some clarity to everybody uh, in regards to the course. Like I said, check the link in my bio. Uh, that link in my bio is a link tree and it'll have five different items there. You can get a, go ahead and snag you that freebie and then also check out the seven day NCLEX course as well as the guide that's there as well. And you guys can jump into that. And like I said, it's all on demand. You get all the updates, all the updates. So when I upload these videos here within the next couple of hours, you're going to see those new videos that pop up there. It says, uh, which do you recommend a new nurse, a new 
student nurse purchase the seven day or the guide. I would recommend. Mm, here's the thing. If you're a new nurse, like if you're a new nursing student in your first year, I would recommend. Um, I mean, I honestly, I would recommend both, but it depends on what type of, it depends on what type of learner that you are, Vina. So are you more visual? If you're more visual and you like to be, you know, and you like for it to be facilitated in front of you, where you, like, if I say something wrong, you can yell at the screen or do you, are you a reader to where you go through your phone or you go on your tablet or you actually have, you can print that out and, and put it in a book form. Like, and that all just depends on what you want to do, but both options are there for you. Is there an, is there an online LVN, you know? What do you mean? What do you mean exactly? But shout out to eight, all 84 of y'all in here rolling with me. Uh, we were just going over the seven day NCLEX course as well as we were going over the guide and you guys can check those out. And it says, I can't find your PowerPoint in the link. Uh, where can I find it? Is it for sale or where can I purchase? So that link here, I'm just, I'm going to put this back up. I'm going to put this back up. So that way um, you can just type it in because I I don't know why everybody has such trouble with that. But I'm going to put it back up and I'm actually going to, as a matter of fact, give me one second. I'm going to put those up. I'm going to put them up. I'm going to put them up. See if we can find them because I just had them. So if you want the course, this is the course right here. So this is the course right here. The seven day NCLEX course. Just type that, just type that, type this one in um, and you'll. Yeah, if you just type that one in, you'll you'll it'll take you straight to the website. It says, "Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Online class, in person clinical, online class. Oh, oh, oh. You're talking about uh, LPN programs, like for nursing school. I personally don't know of any. I mean, I'm not. They for, okay, so they have them out there. I personally don't know. Um, what else? What else did you say on here? Um, but yes, Vina. Hopefully, hopefully that answers your question. So you get it for seven days. No. You get it for a lifetime. That's why I say you got to go to the website. On the website, it tells you that you get it for a lifetime. So the set. So here's 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 the here's the mindset behind the seven days. If you've ever taken an NCLEX exam, oh, I'm sorry. If you've ever taken a, a a NCLEX prep course of any type, most of the time they're all over a three day period. A three day period where they give you tons and tons and tons of stuff where you have massive amounts of like brain overload. So I actually used to do a certified, a nationally certified um, surgical tech um, examination prep course. And it was over the course of seven days. And our students loved it just for the simple fact that it gave them time to absorb the knowledge that they had in one day. And then they were able to come back the, the next day. And then we did a test before and then we did a test after and they loved it. So I took that into account and I was like, you know what? The same process goes with nurses, but let me do it on demand. So all I'm asking is for you to give me an hour, two hours, three hours out of a day for you to sit down, go through this review that's on demand. You know, take your notes, print it out, do whatever you want to do and keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. I've had like I'm telling you, I have so many testimonies now. Um, it's a very fresh course. This course is very, very new. It started in June of this year. Right. And I have 250 people that are in the program. Some people that have already graduated, some people that have taken the exam multiple times, some people who just started nursing school um, this fall, you know, so it's where it, we're working. We're working to get some stuff in there. It says, do you have test banks for sale as well? Uh, I do not have test banks for sale. Currently, that is something that is something on my entrepreneurial journey uh, into creating a course that I am working on. So I am working on getting the test banks. However, I always recommend um, looking into uh, Archer's test bank. I actually like Archer's test bank, um, but that's no that's no that's no shade on anybody else. That that's just I, those are the ones that I know that I like for sure. Um, but yeah, so you guys can go over there. You can, if you need to, you check this link right here and it'll take you directly there. If you're looking for the guide, like if you're looking for the victory guide, which is over 700 pages of NCLEX content, right. That you can read at your leisure, right. Which I also have an audio book that I'm working on that way, you know, Hey, if you're driving to and from, you can listen to me with the soothery buttery feels of Kevin, right. Uh, <laughs> but, um, that way you can listen to it in your car. Is this for NCLEX RN as well? Or L yes. Le y yes, Miss Daisy Jimenez or Jimenez. Jimenez. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, ma'am, it is. Yes, ma'am, it is. So I get that question a lot. Also, I get that question a lot. Like a lot of people are just like, hey, can you make an L can you make an LPN specific review? 
And I'm just like, both of y'all, I mean, both LPNs and RNs can use this. However, since everybody wants to be segregated, um, I am working on an LPN, strictly LPN review based off of the LPN's NCLEX test plan that is from the National Council of State Boards of Nursing. All right. So instead of it being management of care, we'll talk about coordinated care, so on and so forth. But that takes time. Your boy is only one person. He can only do so much. So those are coming as well. All right. So if anybody's interested in the victory guide that is here, it says, thank you, failed NCLEX twice. Looking for all the resources. Da- Daisy, that's what's up. I mean, it's not what's up that you fail. However, I fail my NCLEX uh, three times. So I know, number one, I know exactly how you feel. Number two, with the seven day NCLEX course, I have the curriculum laid out to, you know, from start to finish before you even get before you even get to the review. The biggest thing is that you are going to start to see other types of uh, like there's content in there as well as how it's laid out to where I want you to start reviewing. Right. So the very first thing we talk about, you know, start going, we're going to start going through NCLEX mindset, so on and so forth. And then, boom, I hit you with the new generation NCLEX review over. It's 100 questions, 100 questions, which equals Four hours of content, four hours of content videos, right? That you can do over time for yourself. You know, that's the great thing about having a pause button. You got to go to the bathroom, pause it, go back. You know what I mean? So you guys can go, you can check that out as well. Diamond, hello. Hello, Miss Diamond. How are you? If you guys are finding value, all 64 of you guys, uh, make sure you guys smash that like button. Um, but like I said, if you need this link right here, you can check out the link in my bio and that, that link will take you there. I don't know what's going on or why it can't take anybody there, but you, it has to take you to this page essentially right here where you can see it, right? That's where it's taking you. And then you click on this link and then I'm on the computer, but it'll take you here and then it takes you straight there, right? And then right there, like I said, go over there and get you that freebie, get you that free download, right? And then you got the review, the 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 the, e, uh, the ebook, and then you got the, the course itself, then you got private coaching if anybody wants to talk to me one on one. And then I have my NCLEX coaching and mentoring, which is uh, essentially, you know, like my my higher ticket item. And this is where if you have failed the NCLEX multiple times, this is where we get into the nitty gritty. I am coaching multiple people right now. And one young lady has failed the NCLEX 10 times. She has failed the NCLEX 10 times. And I told her I was just like, hey, are you coachable? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, all right, let's make it happen. And then when we get in there, she starts telling me what she needs to do. And I was like, no, 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 no. Well, that's not how that works. I was like, you're going to be, you have to be coachable. And then now she's like doing really well on her exams. Right. And so she's taking her NCLEX here in the next like week or so. So she's doing extremely well. And I know that, hey, she needs that extra push and I'm here to give it to her. All right. So if anybody else is looking for any of this, like I said, go check that link out in my bio. Get and check out all the stuff that's over here. And if you want to sit down and have a talk with me in regards to anything, that's here. We can talk about it right here. Private coach, uh, private one-on-one call. All right. So let's see. Let's see. What other questions do you guys have? What's up, Victoria? Miss Vicky, Miss Victoria. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. You've been beating people up or what? I know you've been out there throwing hands with the corrections, the fisticuffs. So, hey, but hey, in case anybody is new here, I want to know who you are, where you're from, where you're at in your nursing journey. Right. And if you're not a nurse, you're just hanging out with me. What y'all doing here? What y'all doing here? Um, I'm probably going to hang out for about another 15 minutes and then uh, maybe even less than that. And then we'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. Um, somebody emailed me about something, but that's OK. Uh, is it Dana failed, failed NCLEX twice? Dana, I failed NCLEX three times. So my question is, what are you going to do to go forward? Hmm? What are you going to do to go forward? I have been busy working, about to get ready for work uh, and studying for tea. OK. Hey, go do your thing, girl. Go do do your thing, girl. Do your thing. Do your thing. It says, do you have a YouTube? Do you have a YouTube video on MedSurge? I don't have a YouTube video on MedSurge. I don't. Um, However, I am working. I have um, in my curriculum. Once again, like I said, I'm one person. But in my curriculum right now, I'm where I have. uh, It's great to see you, too, Victoria. Um, I have my curriculum where I'm going to be going over fundamentals, MedSurge one and two. Um. Yeah. Fundamentals, med surge one and two, maternity, pharmaco- I, I all that stuff is coming. So that's what I'm saying. Anybody that needs the seven day NCLEX course or anybody that gets it, all that stuff is going to be it's going to be there, be in there eventually. But the price is not going to be the same because once there's a, once there's enough stuff in there, I, I justify I, I, it's going to go up in price, you know, just like everything, just like everything else. 
Uh, some people are just good test takers. Some people are good test takers. And if you're not a good test taker, what you need to do is now you have to put in a little you have to put in a little bit more work to become a good test taker. This is not sure I'm looking for study resources, but I'm so discouraged. Dana. So here's the one thing before I even give you any type of study material. This is what I'm going to say to you. I'm Anish. Uh, I'm Aisha going second semester of nursing school. Oh, Aisha, I don't know how long your school is. But you got time. And, and the one thing I'll say to you is that you're being super proactive, which is very, very good. Um, and now let me see who said that. Dana. So here's what I'm going to say. You're discouraged. Why are you discouraged? Right. And as you answer that, I really want you to think about that. I want I want you to think about the two the things that you did for your first two exams that you didn't do. I want you to think about that. Like, Let's talk about it. Let's talk about accountability. Right. Did you go out? Did you have fun? Do you have kids that are distracting? Uh, did you say I'm going to study, but you didn't study effectively Were you trying to turn up, you know, like were you um, um, do you have a good support system? Whether people whether you believe it or not, that has a direct effect that can have a direct effect on you. It, it, and by support system, I mean, you know, husband, wife, kids, family, mom, dad, whomever. Right. Um, how what type of study techniques did you use? What type of what type of learner are you? You know what I mean? Like what type of learner are you? What did you do? I'm telling you right now what I did differently. That's why I'm going into this. So what did you do that was different? Do you not understand questions? Do you not understand content? Right. What I realized is that I was trying to use and do what everyone else was trying to tell me to do rather than taking a good look on what worked for me and what didn't. Uh, I use both Archer and I was doing the NCLEX study plan. OK, so. Once again, based off of everything that I just asked you. Like which one of those things I could tell you, like right now for me, I had a content issue. Tamara says, hi, I'm on my second semester ADN. Our final is on Wednesday. Shout out to you, Tamara. You got this. You got this. Hey, that, hey before you know it, Wednesday will be here. And then, boom, you're going to go off and enjoy Christmas. So one issue that I had, I had a content issue. And so and I was in denial. I was like, no, 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 I don't need to do that. I just need to study questions. How in the hell can I study questions or understand them if I don't remember what the content was talking about? You know what I mean? And so. That forced me to get my answers wrong. Yes, graduated a couple of years back and having constant issues and content issues. Exactly. Right. So now it's just like, OK, how do I fix that? OK, and I need to find a program that's going to give me that. Right. OK, I found I, I used a couple of programs that one that didn't give me that. And then the second one that I used didn't get it. didn't it, it, They didn't necessarily give you that. It was more like tips and tricks. Right. Which is not bad. You know, what I mean, but then I realized I needed something. I needed the whole kit and caboodle. Right. Which is why I created the seven day NCLEX courses, because the whole kit and caboodle is, on, is going to be there. But the most important thing that is there inside of this review is that you get a review of somebody breaking down questions. And that was another issue I had. I, I'm not understanding what the question is asking. Once I started to figure out what these questions are asking us. Oh, it was solid. It was it was game over. I was doing my questions, my quizzes, a schedule, time management, accountability. Like these are all these are the things that encompass be, you know, conquering this exam. And as somebody who's taken the exam multiple times, you in reality, you have an advantage over first time takers because you already know what the format looks like. You already know what the testing center looks like. You know what I mean? So don't be discouraged. The one thing I'm going to tell you is grab that, grab that piece of damn paper, your performance breakdown, start from the beginning as in where you didn't do well and then improve upon from there. It says, uh, did you take the new? No, I did not. I took the old one. The new generation NCLEX happened. I'm sure everybody's still there, right? I think I froze. I don't know. That was uh, Dana. That, that, that was for you. That was for you. All right. And so now I'm going to now I'm going to roll. Now I'll roll into it. It's like with the seven day NCLEX course right now, I have a new generation NCLEX review where and you just missed it, where I go through the questions and I go through the answers and it's 100 questions to include the case studies that are in that are embedded into the new generation NCLEX right now. And right now I have 18 videos, 18 videos strictly in pharmacology. And right now I'm working on another nine videos to go into my cardiology section on top of uh, getting my respiratory sections. I'm, it's going to be section by section. I'm telling you all this is going to be well over 100, 100 plus videos of content that are going to go in there. I'm trying to slam y'all with content because if you don't have an understanding of content, if you don't have an understanding of content, how can you apply it to NCLEX style questions? You see what I'm saying? That How can you apply? You can't. And then you hear people say, hey, just use UWorld. You'll be fine. No, bro. You can't just 
you can't just use something and, and, and just think it's going to work for everybody. That's not how it works. That's why I ask you, hey, do you have a content problem? Like, do you understand? Like, if I start talking about the endocrine system and I start talking about diabetes and I start talking about DKA or hypoglycemia and blah, 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 do you understand that? Oh, if I start talking about myasthenia gravis, do you know that? They'll be like, oh, no. Well, okay, well, you might need content. You know what I'm saying? How much is it? How much is what now, Aisha? How much is what? Are you talking about my course? The course is, the course is in the bio and it's $97. It's $97. Right. And so it went up on Black Friday. It went up on Black Friday because I justify now. Hey, there's a lot. There's a lot of. Con- hey, ask Trisha. Trisha will tell you. It says your course was awesome. I'm a retired RN now for future nurses. Uh, don't lose empathy. Yep. Ask Trisha. I'm trying to tell you. Trisha will let you know. And that's why I tell people, hey, if you go get the course, everything that I just showed you, I want you to fact check me. Be like, hey, yep, everything that you said is in there. Everything that you said that you said is in there is in there. So it says Tiff said, uh, taking one prerequisite at a time. OK, uh, hopefully I'm not too old by the time I get in nursing school. Tiff, nobody cares how old you are. So I don't even know why you said that. No one cares. I've had ladies that are in their 50s and early 60s that wanted to become nurses. No one cares. No job cares that you're in your 60s. No school cares that you're in your 60s. Just go and do you. Get your self-gratification. That's all that matters. No one cares. Trust and believe. And the one thing I can tell you right now that you would bring into a nursing program with a, pro- a profession that is 89% women is that you're going to bring the knowledge and experience of being a woman at your age to essentially mentor those young ladies. Trust and believe me, you're going to end up being like the, 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 the class mom, maybe. And trust, it happens. It happens. I'm trying to tell you. Um, it says, Trisha said, I had a, DT, a DTR and a mother. And a, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm 40 starting over. We got this. Look, don't nobody care that y'all don't nobody care about y'all age. All right. Don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. All right. I am 25. I wish I was 25. I'm not. I'm not. No, actually, I don't. I don't wish I was 25. I am 36. I know. I know. Gray hairs, all that good stuff. Right. But nobody cares. Nobody cares experience uh experience counts i started nursing at 33 i started nur- i got into nursing school at 31 graduated at 32 been a nurse for three and a half years hopefully my math is math and right you know what i'm saying so no one cares about how old you are no one cares it's all about it's about you it's about you getting what you need to do for yourself venus i took your advice and i just bought both Vina, appreciate you um, oh, that's probably why that just popped up on here where it says somebody, but I didn't see, I don't see names. I just see icons that's, that are on there. It says, do you offer help with the T's? Are you talking about like with the entrance exam for the T's? Uh, it took me 17 years to get my master's at 51 truth. Look, I'm right now, I haven't been to school for five years and I'm dreading school, but I'm going back to school for my master's. So, and you, and yours was 17 being out of school or it took you 17 years to get your master's. It's just like, you know, um, Oh, you're talking about for the T's. Uh, I do offer help. I, I can help. I can help with the T's. I can help with the HESI. I can help with all that. Uh, I need to retest to get into my RN program. Okay. Yeah. So if you go check the link out on my bio, I do private one-on-one tutoring for essentially all aspects. Like if you want help with T's, if you want help with ATI uh, or T's, if you need help with HESI, uh, once you get into school, you want help with ATI, you want help with HESI. Uh, my bread and butter is the NCLEX exam because that is where like my main focus is. Everybody always asks, can you do stuff for nursing school? Bro, I'm only one person. Do I look like simple nursing? I ain't there yet, but I'm going to get there. And when I get there, I'm going to need for y'all to remember me. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming full force out there. Uh, I missed it by four points. Hey, I'll give you, I'll give you a look. Hey, the first time I took the HESI, I didn't, I didn't make the cutting score and that's okay. Cause guess what? No one's going to care. No one's going to care. And I took it the second time, blew it out of the water. Cool. Good to go. No one's going to care. It says I was in my mid twenties, uh, with maternity, uh, with maturity. Sorry. I knew what I wanted and easier to do my life experience. True. Very true. Uh, who is it? Is it Power Bank and um, is it Car- uh, Caracal for real? Appreciate the follows. Thank you. Hey, if you guys are finding value in, what, in whatever we're dropping here, make sure you guys smash that like button. All right. Hey, I'm going to hang out for about another five minutes because your boy got to go eat and your boy got to put some videos up. So Hesse Exit uh, just says Hesse Exit is what failed me in my LPM program. Failed it by 17 points. Look, I failed one of my exits and they let me take it again and I ended up passing it. Right. You know, and so now these exit Hesse's are actually... 
not going away. But if I remember right, they're starting to do remediation programs after the fact, like they'll let you graduate, they'll let you walk, but then you have to com- complete a remediation program and then they'll, you know, send all your transcripts to the board of nursing and blah, 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 blah. Like they'll do all that too. Because we had a lot of people that were scoring really great in the, in the, in the course, but the exit exams, they were telling, Oh yeah, they're 30% of your grade. You're like, what the hell? So, you know, there's some great people that they were, that they were just, you know, that they were just not, not bottlenecking, but they were like lowballing. Like they were just, they were, it's just like, wow. So, you know, I definitely help with all that. It's Aisha. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. Do you have any discounts for, I don't, I don't Aisha. I do not. Hey, so one, one of the things I tell people, one of the things I tell people is that, uh, the, you know, it's not necessarily about buying things. It's about investing. Like, Oh, and I, if I buy something, I'm going to go buy a bag of chips or I'm going to go buy a watch. I mean, I need to tell time, but my phone could tell me the time, you know, a Walmart watch or whatever. Right. But when it comes to something that I know, when it comes to my profession or any type of internal growth, you see that you see you see that thing up there. You see this thing over here. That's investing. That's an investment. Um, and that's why I have the course that's there. The course was forty eight dollars and then it went up. Aisha, that's not your fault. You didn't find me at that point. And that's OK. Um, but there, sometimes I do flash sales. Sometimes I do flash sales. The no one, no one's going to know when that's happening because it's a flash sale. Right. Uh, but as of right now, uh, the price is what is what it is, is because there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of dense content that's in there that is very helpful for everybody. All right. So I definitely, I mean, and if you don't want to get that, that's okay. I, I, there's the book that's there too. That's a little bit uh, on the cheaper side. You know, and so and also I'm coming up with a, an audio, an audio book as well. That's going to go in there. So it's going to be we got, hey, there's a there's good stuff that's in there for you um, for whatever you want to invest in. You don't we don't just buy things. Right. Uh, the, on Black Friday, I can tell you right now, the only thing that should have had a Black Friday sale was groceries. All right. Um, because Lord of mercy. It said I had a four point on the entire program, but that HESI was horrible. It was. I remember I used to have like 94s, 96s when I was in class and I took the HESI. It dropped me by like literally like 10 points. And I'm just like, I hate I hate everything about everything that's happening here. Uh, Is it normal to not pass the NCLEX the first time? Yes. Yes. I didn't pass it the first time. I failed it three times. Hey, y'all, I passed my patho class, period. Ma'am, that's what I'm talking about. I already knew you was going to come in here and let us know. So, um. But congratulations to you for passing patho. You already know patho is my favorite class, you know, disease processes and how they affect the body. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I said, OK, OK, we'll get it. OK, appreciate you. Hey, remember, Aisha, this is a, it's an investment. You have it the whole time. You have it. So by the time you graduate, everything that you could ever want is going to be in there. What kind of nurse do you what kind of nursing do you do? So Tamara or uh, I don't know if I'm is it Tamara or Tamara? Um, I, uh, did critical care for, uh, a couple of, not a couple of months, um, for a little over a year. So about a year, two, three months. Um, I worked in a burn ICU, a medical ICU, as well as I floated to a neuro ICU. Then I worked a little bit in PACU and then the rest of the time has been in the operating room. So tomorrow, no, Tamara, like Tia and Tamara, I got you. Um, so, um, that's where I've worked. And now my whole goal is uh, my, my whole goal and should have been my goal from the beginning, but it took me working as a nurse to figure that out. But now it's nurse education. Uh, is it hard to be a nurse? Uh, yeah, it is hard to be a nurse. You really have to have the determination, the want and desire to become a nurse. Like it's not that shit's not going to be just given to you. OK, I have not passed the NCLEX and I have taken it two times. I'm not trying to be discouraged. Explore page six. Uh, it makes me feel terrible about myself, but trying to keep push. So here's the thing I'm going to say to you. And I know that you weren't in here earlier, but it's just like you really have to audit yourself. You have to get your performance breakdown. That's where you start because that will tell you where you don't do well at. Right. And like I said to other people is what type of learner are you? Do you understand content? Do you understand questions and answers? Um, um, do, time management. What does that look like? Do you have a good support system? Uh, do you have a study calendar? Do you have a, stu- do you, do you have like a tracker, like to track your progress? Like, do you have all that, you know, or do you do all that? Do you not know where to study? You know, like, let's say for me, pharmacology was terrible. It was terrible. So I started there first, not saying I became a whiz at pharmacology, but pharmacology stuck and trust and believe me, don't data dump pharmacology. Cause once you start working, pharmacology is not going away. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a reason why they test it. There's a reason why it's the second largest section on the exam. There's a reason why they test it. So my question to you would be, is if you failed it multiple times, is do you need help? Like, do you need one-on-one help? Do you need somebody to guide you, um, you know, to mentor you, to, to, to kind of essentially kind of keep you pushing? You know, because we do get discouraged out there. I got discouraged. 
I failed three times and I, and I said it out loud. You could check into my YouTube video at, at the boot nurse where I said, am I a failure? Like, am I supposed to be a nurse? Like all, all that stuff. I went through those, <laughs> those stages of, of, of depression when it came to not passing my exam. But then what happened? The skies opened up and put a mentor in front of me. There's a reason why you came here to all 62 of y'all that are in here rocking with me right now. There's a reason why y'all came here. There's a reason why y'all are still sticking around listening to me talk. But we're going over nursing stuff, you know, because you are in a position to where you're just like, you know what? I need some, I need I need something to help me get me over that hump. Um, and I do that, you know. So, I mean, I do coaching. I do one on ones. I do private one on ones to where you get this same energy. But it's just being you. I do that, you know, a one on one call or you can do a pack. I have like this package where we con- I call it the NCLEX coaching and mentoring where. I coach you on how to take the NCLEX. I mean, pretty, I mean, it's just, it's just, it is just that plain and simple. So, I mean, if you're interested in stuff like that, you can take, check that link in that bio or, you know, just listen to all the advice I just told you and, and improve upon it from there. Remember, you've already seen the exam twice. So you already have corporate knowledge of even what the testing center looks like versus somebody who's trying to go there for the first time. Right. So think about that. It says, uh, what job do you recommend out of nursing school for the most hands-on experience? ER, ICU. They're both, they're both, you get hands-on experience regardless. So it depends on what you want to do. Do you want to go to the ER? Or do you want to go to the ICU? Me, I went to the ICU. I know I didn't want to go to the ER. It's about the comeback, not the setback. Yes. I like to say you're delayed, never denied. So that's pretty much the same thing, Sarah. I like that. I don't care how many times I take the NCLEX. Wait, it says, I don't care how many times I take the NCLEX nurse. Center. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. NCLEX help. Hey, if anybody, like I said, if anybody needs NCLEX help, you guys check the link out in my bio. I have, you know, there's there's a multiple things that are there. I have a freebie that's there. You can check that out. I have an ebook as well as a course. And also I have a, a private call where we can talk. You know what I'm saying? I like the way you pass your message. That's what I'm saying. The thing about it is just like, I don't, I gain nothing from lying to anybody. I gain, like, here's the thing. And this is what I tell people. Look, I already have my license. I have mine. And it took me a long time to get it. And I don't take that for granted. But what I will tell you is that there are things that work. There are things that work, you know, and the great thing about having a coach and a mentor is that the coach from the, can get you to point A to point B. A lot of people will try to rock, they'll try to talk trash about LeBron, but LeBron has been in the league longer than anybody and probably by far one of the, one of the most successful NBA players. But my man has a coach. My man has a mentor. You think LeBron figured all that stuff out by himself? No, that's why he had Kareem, he had Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan. You have all these coaches and these mentors that are in your head to make you better than them. Why do you think it's there? And that's how I pass the message, because it's the truth. Whether you decide to walk that path of where I'm telling you to go, like leading you to water, like whether you decide to drink the water, that's not, that's not up to me. That's up to you. Yes, I'm definitely going to check out the links. Thank you so much. Explore six or explore page. Sorry. Yeah, check those out. Check those out. Just like Brandon Craft on Facebook. I don't know who Brandon Craft is. I don't know. I might have to look that up. I love this guy. And we need shirts of your face and named the boot camp nurse. Oh, you can't call me the boot camp nurse because I think that's that's somebody else's. Uh, Kar- uh, Karim, yes, you are late. You are late, late. We've been done, done for about an hour, a little, a little over an hour. So, um. I am getting some I am getting some shirts made. I'm actually going to I'm I'm going to get I'm getting some shirts made and uh, I'll have those links available for everybody. You guys can check that out. So like, hey, I'm telling you on Friday, Friday is going to be a good day. So it would behoove everyone to be there. Um, I'm just saying um, everybody is different. But what works for me was taking Kaplan and you test. I'm assuming you mean you world. Then study what you miss. Yeah, everyone is very different. And that's why I try to tell people that the way you talk makes me. The way you talk, the way you talk, making me reach my goal. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Everybody, you can get it. You can make it, right? I did. You world? No, you're good. I'm assuming that's what you meant, Dustin. No worries. The way, uh, that way, don't waste time studying what, exactly. And, And I wouldn't even say it's not wasting time, wasting time studying what you know. You just don't focus all of your time studying what you know. Like if you know, about what the on pit, the, the the peak, the onset or the onset, the peak and the duration of insulin. You don't need to stay there. You don't need to stay there the whole time. Learn that. What days do you go live? I go live Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at five thirty Central Standard Time. Um, yeah, like if you know diabetes and, and and onsets and stuff like that, cool. If you know about crushing canes and walkers, and the biggest thing is about safety and where to put the cane, where to put the walker, up with the good, down with the bat. Like if you know that, cool. 
if you know arterial blood gla- uh, arterial blood gases, and if I was to start talking about metabolic alkalosis, acidosis, and all those other ones, you know that. And then move on to the ones that are giving you a little bit more trouble. I can't say H1. Yeah, you can't. You know better. H1 is my heart. Stop it. Hey, you're late, Nicole. You're late. Mm-hmm. Late. Late, late. All right. But no, I appreciate you being here. You know the deal. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I was able to answer you guys' question. Questions. Uh, does anybody have any other questions before I depart? Uh, just got off at six. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm-mm. Always, always working, girl. Always working. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Um, but yeah. Well, if anybody doesn't have any more questions, uh, I really wanted to bring somebody on. Uh, essentially, uh, you know, specifically somebody that passed the NCLEX, but. I usually I'll do that on AMA and I'll probably do that next week or do that on Wednesday. But uh, I'm going to start bringing some like one or two people on the live with me. And I'm essentially I'm just going to start asking them questions because I want y'all to bring the success of your trials that you went through in nursing school. And especially the NCLEX, I want you to foster that positivity on the other people that are here. It says pass my NCLEX this weekend. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, y'all already know the deal. All 51 of y'all give Miss Kimberly, is it Bowman? Give Miss Kimberly Bowman all her love. Shout out to you, Miss Kimberly Bowman. Welcome to the greatest shit show on earth known as nursing. You know, welcome. Welcome to it. And you said, what'd you say? It says, you helped me so much. Thank you so much. Kimberly, you are very welcome. This, this, that comment right there is exactly why I do this. That's why I said to everybody, if you find value in this, smash that like button. If you find value, share it. If you find value, Buy my shit. <laughs> no, but seriously, like those comments right there are literally like why I do this. Like it makes it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. And it knows that I'm doing something right for y'all. Right. It says keep helping out those new nurses. Much love. I appreciate you, Dustin. Appreciate you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I got no, like I, 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 I should appreciate the rose. I appreciate the rose. Thank you. So. Hey, I'll be back on Wednesday. We'll do the same thing, same channel, same time or same time, same channel, however it goes. Right. Uh, last little plug. Anybody looking for an NCLEX course that you have forever and you get all the updates. That is my gift to y'all until the course is complete. Uh, check that out. The seven day NCLEX course. That link is in my bio. Click the link tree. It'll give you five different things that are there. There's a freebie in there, an ebook, the, the NCLEX course, both for RNs and LPNs. I got private calling or where we could talk about nursing school, pre-nursing, ATI, SETs, all that good jazz. And then, of course, uh, if you want to work together, if you want to work together in a uh, uh, in a more intense and private uh, NCLEX coaching style, you guys can check that out. The NCLEX coaching and mentoring that is in there as well. Um, Check out my YouTube and Instagram as well. Everything is at the boot nurse. But I want everybody to keep being great. Keep being you. Hey, people are graduating. People are graduating this week. I, all I'm saying is that y'all need to be at these lives this week. Y'all need to be at them. I'm just saying. Sasha, man, first of all, where have you been? You've been hiding out here and I don't like it. All right. That's number one. Number two, dinner. I think we're having a casserole. And nephew, you know, he, he you know, he, he he eats 20 months, light skinned, curly hair, uh, runs the house, doesn't have a job. You know how that goes. Trace, y'all are just now getting on here. I'm about to get off. I don't even like that. Uh, Sarah, appreciate you. Good night. Good night, Sarah. Sasha says, work, uh, so working at night. Oh, yeah, that's true. It says, yes, uh, lives help so, so much. Yeah, let them know. Let them know, Miss Kimberly. Let them know. All right. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I might do this. Kimberly, since you were the last person to come in here to tell me that you passed your NCLEX, right? What I want to do, if you're up for it, Come into the live on Wednesday, and when I start doing the Ask Me Anything, I'm going to bring you on. Are you cool with that? If you're cool with that, let me know. It says, Trey says, sorry, I just, I was off uh, doing volunteer nursing, changing dressings for fresh. Okay, shout out to you, Jason Derulo. Is that you? No, you want me to sign, Michaela, you want me to sign your autograph, though? I got you. Um, Michaela thinks she's funny. You think you're funny? Hmm? Hmm? If I was Jason Derulo, I would not be doing nursing questions. <laughs> oh, snap. OK. Kim. All right, Kimberly. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. As a matter of fact, when we get off, don't start with him. Look, uh, she's like, yeah, sing it. Stop it. So, um, Kimberly, um, send me a DM right after this live is over. And that way we can talk about it. And then that way we that way, we, you know, you can get a 
a whole good we'll get a good vibe going before before we do it on uh, on Wednesday. Um, yeah, it says what time Wednesday? Uh, five thirty. So five thirty Central Standard Time. Um, that's when I'll start doing the, the questions, and then after the questions, um, which will probably be about an hour ish. Um, that's when I'll go into the ask me anything. I'm from Sierra Leone. Uh, where can I seat the NCLEX exam? You can take the NCLEX exam anywhere in the United States or Canada, uh, but definitely not in Sierra Leone. Um, great job, everyone. Good job. Uh, just say you miss me. Sheesh, I miss you too. I miss you, baby boo. Hey, stop it. You miss baby boo more. Look, he a, he a terrorist. You already know the deal is. But anyways, like I said, make sure you guys go check those links out in my bio. Uh, support your boy. Uh, take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Hey, no, hey, nobody cares about what you're, nobody cares about you failing that exam. Nobody cares. Go out there, put in the work, study, come to my lives and let's keep it pushing. All right. I hope everybody has a, I hope everybody has a good rest of um, their evening and I will see everybody. Vina, I will see you on Wednesday and I'll see everybody on Wednesday. Bye.